Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast. This is episode 7. Wow, that's weird to think about. That's like an episode a day for a week right now. Uh, I realized as of yesterday's, that's like, since all the episodes so far have been two hours, and there have been six episodes, that's 12 hours. Like, that's a whole day. Like, practically a whole yeah. day. A whole waking that, day. A, yeah. <laughs> like, maybe a little over the amount of time someone should be... I mean, if you get eight hours of sleep, that's like, what, 16 hours of wake? I don't know. I don't buy that, though, because the whole thing about, like, budgeting time is like, oh, you get eight hours of sleep. Like, nobody gets exactly eight hours of sleep. I try yeah. to. I try my best to get in the ballpark of, like, seven to nine hours, but I feel like mm -hmm. most people and just, like, the whole thing of time management, people think it's so easy to just, like, oh, just spend this much time doing that. It's like, well, life doesn't work that way. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm getting myself off track. Uh, what are we talking about today? I really don't know what... Uh, um we don't really have much, do we? I have I have an opening topic. Okay. Um, we thought there wasn't gonna be any Pokemon news. Oh yeah, I, I literally was, this fucking. I was morning. gonna mention that. <laughs> I didn't know if you were gonna. Or is it no, the I, the leak thing, or was there something else? It's this weird. Basically, out of nowhere, on the Pokemon Sword and Shield website, there is this weird glitchy new Pokemon. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, that sprite or whatever. And, yeah. Yeah, it's this weird thing, and someone like rotated it. And it looks oddly similar to Farfetch, but it has a big leak sword and yeah, shield. Yeah, I heard about and that. Like, uh, <laughs> and I, I'm i guessing this is either a Galarian form or an evolution. I'm more so it's hoping probably going to be both. I'm, I, even though I love Galarian forms, I kind of do want there to be improvements for the original form or the form that mm, we first mm. saw. So yeah, like, I'm hoping this is more so just an evolution that any Farfetch'd can have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be so nice, because, like, yeah. that way, like, in the future, you can just evolve it and not mm -hmm. have to worry about... That makes sense. Yeah, I heard about... And, I, and wasn't also, that last night? Because I saw it, like, it was, last night in my yeah, stuff feed or something. it was, like, last night this morning. Yeah. They posted it at a weird time. They, I think deal. they did that on purpose. They <laughs> did that just, like, They're definitely, some people... This, this is going to be that circumstance we were talking about where we record the podcast, and then something happens, like, literally tomorrow, like, yeah, right after... <laughs> Like, yeah. you're going to be like, all right, well, that's going to be fun to talk about next episode. <laughs> but yeah, and also I'm thinking that the, the, the text for it, the flavor text kind of fits mm. with the potential of it being far-fetched. It's only blank that have survived many battles can attain this blank. When this Pokemon's blank blankers, it will retire from combat. Redacted. <laughs> Redacted. It's like SCP Pokemon edition. Yeah. What if the P just stood for Pokemon? <laughs> Oh, that'd be funny. Secure, contain, uh, Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> I can yeah. I could just imagine. I would love, like, more cryptid Pokemon. I don't really know if we have much like that. <laughs> like, I know they have ones that are like that, like, in the universe. You have I guess. But it's a crab. <laughs> yeah, but it's still, like... It's it's based off of the Yeti crab, but it's still based yeah. off, like, the Abominable Snowman. Yeah, Same I get that. I get that. <laughs> Yeah, and, and like there's already a lot of Pokemon where it's like rumored to be like this or that or the other thing. Like yeah. like Phantump is like, oh, it's the souls of children. And it's like, well, that's just what I needed in my life. <laughs> yeah, I really, really feel good about catching this. Thing. <laughs> yeah, really. You're just capturing someone's child. <laughs> yeah. I never thought of that. That's freaky. I don't like that No, now. wait, it's not, it's not a theory. It's literally confirmed in, it's yeah, I know. To the I know. Codex. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't like that. I was just making a game theory joke. It's like, uh, that's just a theory. A theory. Uh, it's conspiracy. <laughs> you just steal that joke from Oni Place? No, shut up. Now we're gonna get doxxed. What? Dox? I'm I'm the only person to ever <laughs> rhyme a word with, with theory, because conspiracy already kind of sounds like one. It's just a game query. No, but I think they genuinely said conspiracy. I know. I, I probably said it before without knowing. I, that's what I don't get about, like, joke stealing. It's like, oh, they made that joke. I'm like, okay, I guess they're the only person who's ever allowed to make that joke ever again. But the thing with that is, like, nobody's just going to go repeating the same joke over and over again like that. Well, I think the difference is, like, stuff like that, just, like, referencing. Yeah, just, like, random lines. <laughs> 
Or if it's like Amy Schumer or Carlos Mencia. <laughs> yeah. Has there, like other people's <laughs> material. Has there ever been like a Carlos Mencia of like Let's Players who just like steals other people's like jokes and stuff like straight up? Like yeah, there's, there's a difference between like making videos on the same thing. Like people say that all the time on YouTube, but like, but like just stealing like entire jokes and like bits for videos. Like has that happened? You were about to say, do you know of a situation where that I was, happened? I was gonna say, yeah, us is a joke because we fucking reference other people. Oh, <laughs> yeah, us. <laughs> we're we're the number one culprits. We're we're just like, hmm, I wonder who it could be. And there's like a giant sign pointing to us. This like rip off neon light rip off artist. <laughs> Dude, I've been watching <laughs> so many cartoons lately. I finished. I've been playing a lot of video games. Dude, gamer solidarity. High five. Game for solidarity, yeah. That was me. That was that was us. Okay. If if we do yeah. it at the same time, it might kinda like 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 Wait, okay. three, two, one. Nice. Okay. That was that was the game. No, that was close enough. That was close enough. It, it, that was the game or solidarity. I I've been uh bleh. Gamer Solidarity. Do, you do like the buff guy handshake meme. It's like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of like two like skinny guys going to shake hands and then as soon as they shake hands they just instantly turn like They're super buff. buff yeah that's so that's funny awesome. that never gets old like the like the muscle shit in like anime where it's like Psh! yeah that's what i love about like hero academia because like all might will just like go ripped and like he'll like he'll be like oh yeah <laughs> speaking of gaming news oh shit uh damon x machia came out on the same day as borderlands 3 so oh, yeah. nintendo really <laughs> set this poor game up to die uh i mean on one on one hand, maybe on the other, is Borderlands Three really good? I mean, the thing <laughs> is that it's super hyped up. Like, it's one of the I, most anticipated games from this year. I didn't like, even, even know it was it out. out <laughs> even if it like, trust me, I I'm friends with a lot of Borderlands fans. I I haven't played much of the games, but I enjoyed them. But I know a lot of people who are genuine fans of the Borderlands games, and they were. This is one of the things they were most excited about for I, this year. I saw one thing <laughs> that was like just five memes from the game and i was just like i hate this already and i was like oh this is from the new one? Oh, the new one is out <laughs> like how was i supposed to know <laughs> but um but still it really sucks that that nintendo is kind of sent, setting out damon x machina to die i don't think it's going to sell well <laughs> i mean maybe the you know what's the, gonna be the best selling thing from it? What? The fucking, the that hoary controller? big chonky choy Joy Cons. Oh, yeah. Why, why did they release those? those? <laughs> because um, they were, I, I don't know like what, what the reason was. What about the game warrants those <laughs> giant Joy Cons? <laughs> I mean, they have turbo buttons on them. I guess, but like, did but they just also, feel like making them Damon X Machina themed? They were like, we want to come I out with a, a pro. Like Joy Con controller because they are, they already have the pro controller with the programmable buttons. Yeah. It's like I'd rather just get that and not have the hassle of like having to clack them onto my Switch and like. But also, um, like literally, I'm pretty sure these controllers are selling better than the game right now, <laughs> and that's and that's what I think sucks. It sucks that these people who genuinely are passionate about this game I've are seen, just. I've seen nothing from either <laughs> game, if I'm being honest. Like I, 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 well, I mean, Nintendo's been showing it to us, I, and like they've been talking about it. Must have not stuck out to me that I was just like, oh, I'll remember that. They, not they not to shit on the off. game, but I just don't remember anything about it. They, and to be fair, I don't remember anything about it. They first showed off at E3 2018. Oh jeez. And and they just uploaded um a video onto Twitter, um from like the from the lead developer talking about the game oh, for the game's launch. But yeah, it just, I feel bad because it's kind of, I, these, this game is, I don't think it's going to do so well. That's a shame. I, I like the Hori, yeah. like, official game, like, yeah. accessories. Their stuff is usually pretty good. Yeah, Hori is, like, one of the best known third-party controller manufacturers. The, uh, I'm kind of sad that he, that Scott didn't ever mention that. Yeah, that's, that's a bit surprising. I guess his more, his, like, focus was to focus on, like, the lesser known, maybe, like, <laughs> worse ones and the bad ones because like there's the no point game. bringing it up if he's just like oh they're good like that's it yeah. like it wouldn't really add much to the comedy of the of the video yeah i want to say a third party controller i do like that i've gotten is the the power a gamecube pro controller that has like the two shoulder buttons <laughs> and the mm -hmm. the switch like home menu and screenshot button like it's really helpful for actually wanting to use your gamecube controller like just on your switch so you don't have to like 
start up Smash and then like switch to the GameCube controller because yeah. it doesn't have like all the buttons sometimes and it's just a weird like oh I don't have a select button or something I guess. <laughs> also, here's something that I've been I've I've learned a little recently from a stream. What have you learned? So there's a Get streamer your actions I watched. Have boyf- consequences. <laughs> um, the streamer, her boyfriend is pretty pretty well known YouTuber. He owns one of Hori's like handheld only Joy Cons. What? You oh, know they have cool. they sell their. Um, it's the left Joy Con. Yeah, yeah. It has like a D pad. I've stuff. never seen that, but I that sounds cool. In a way, how do you charge it? Is there a micro USB? It's not. It's it's just. It's not. It doesn't have a battery. It's only for handheld mode, and it gets powered. Oh, by oh, the it's switch. handheld only. Okay, I, I, I misunderstood. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant like handheld, like it's only detached. No. How is it but, handheld? Um, like, how does that work? Like, it just doesn't it, work when you undock it. Yeah, it doesn't have any wireless functionality. That's weird. I guess that makes them cheaper. But, um, yeah, it is. It's like mm. twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah, without <laughs> all that technology in it to inflate the price. It, <laughs> the thing is though, it only has it only has a stick, the joypad, and the screenshot button. But it uses the same stick as the regular Joy Cons. Uh-huh. And guess what? It he experienced drifting with that with the Hori. <laughs> so that's hilarious. It's, it's, it's so he, it, it's pretty much confirmed at this point. It's just that the sticks used in the Joy Cons are just are not good. The cause <laughs> of the drift. <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw like this video where a guy like opened up his switch and like the the thing that detects like the the stick presses is like really small and it's like really mm-hmm. easily jostled, so you could really easily just like work it out of place after using it for so long. Yeah, that it's just really easy to like mess it up and like like has the Joy-Con drift like only been like to the right or has it been like different directions for everyone? It's been different directions. So that would make sense, yeah, if people are like spinning circles like. Like, people who do spin pounds in, like, Mario Odyssey, you have to yeah. spin the circle, like, really fast, and then gra- and then mm-hmm. jump, and then ground pound, and then jump, like, immediately. So, I can imagine that's pretty intense. Like, I don't even know if <laughs> runners use, like, Joy-Cons, or if they prefer, like, Pro Controllers when they're speedrunning. Yeah. Um, I gotta say... I was never really put off by the joy, uh, by the just the Switch controllers in general, not having like directional notches in them as much as I was when I played Celeste. Cause I'm on chapter nine right now, and I'm so close to the end, and it requires you to do a wave dash, which is like exactly how you think it would be, like from Melee, where you just like dash into the ground at like an angle, and it's like I I press down right and. Too many times to count, I've accidentally dashed, like, right instead of down right. Just because it's, like, hard to tell on the tiny little stick, like, how far down you are sometimes. And that and, like, the grip isn't very... It, it isn't very, like, like, it's good, but it's really easy for your thumb to, like, slip around when you're, like, jumping all over the place and shit. Mm-hmm. And when you're constantly switching from, like, down right to right to up right to down right, you know, like, immediately. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's very... <laughs> like this is one of the times one of the few times I've played a game till my thumb hurt when I've just been pressing dash and jump so much <laughs> it's very crazy have you ever had anything like that have you ever played a game till your thumb hurt um kind of I, I tried playing Super Meat Boy on Steam Ooh. and I was using a Rock Candy 360 controller oh boy. Just because it's, they're cheap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they feel they feel fine enough. And I played all of Cuphead with this Rock Candy controller. I haven't had any issues. But oh, when wow. I'm playing Super Meat Boy, for some reason, my hands cramp up. Yeah, it gets like that when it's like really intense. I don't know what the issue is. Like I'm playing, I'm I'm not even pressing anything too hard. It's yeah. just that my my hand fucks up. It might. And just... I don't even remember. Go on, go on. Sorry. I would, and I played the demo on my 360, mm. and when using the official Xbox 360 controller, I don't remember this happening when I was playing the demo for it. So I don't know. It's just weird. That is weird. It might just be like your grip, like subconsciously changing, and like you're so focused Probably. on the game, you don't even realize it because. There were times I was playing Celeste in, like, handheld mode where, like, I would be holding the Switch and then, like, my brain would just, like, realize my fingers, like, felt weird or something like that and it just kept distracting me. I was like, oh my god, I, like, I like can't play like this. I have to, like, I have to keep, like, wiping my hands off just because I'm, like, uh, I'm, like, losing my grip on my Switch and I, I can't, like... sweaty. 
there's no like because the entire back of the switch is like smooth like there's no grooves for like the rest of your fingers you know unless you use like the uh the joy con grip and you play in like tabletop mode or something yeah <laughs> i just wanted to say as a special announcement to all you uh foot fetishists listening to the podcast i am indeed barefoot for this episode so uh have fun <laughs> have fun with that information <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to open with that, but uh, I got myself sidetracked. So yeah, there you go. Oh damn! <laughs> oh, the barefoot special. I'm glad you left at that. I'm I'm almost always in my pajamas when we record the podcast. That or I'm just in like some chill clothes or whatever, like like a loose shirt and like pajama pants yeah, or something. Same. I'm just yeah, I'm just wearing something just comfortable. Chilling. You just got back from work, right? Yep. How was I it? I got me a job. How was it? It's going. Uh, it kind of sucked. I'm not doing very good at training. <laughs> I'm officially uh, a less a, le- a less valuable member of society because I'm a student, and and you're a worker. So I'm I'm, I'm getting a, I'm getting my money. first paycheck next week. Hey, you making more than minimum wage? Uh, it's eleven dollars an hour. Yeah, that's pretty before good. Tax. That's pretty good. Yeah, for paid training. <laughs> Dude, can you hook me up no. when I come home? <laughs> Caption call is literally one of the easiest jobs to get. You get a job interview schedule. Yeah, literally like, when you what, what do you do, by the way? I was I was confused by how you All described right. it in like so, in like text. Well, okay, so what happens is, basically, um, or the service is, a person who has hard of hearing is given the special landline phone with a screen on it, mm-hmm. and so basically, when they're calling someone, when they're talking, um, the the person on the other end who they're talking to, we hear what they're saying, and we have to transcribe what they're saying with a voice to text software we use our own voices to transcribe it and then it comes on to text on the other person's screen for them to read so you basically do like speech to text to speech <laughs> like you talk yes. and then it translates what you say and then it mm-hmm. reads it aloud in like a robot voice um it doesn't read it aloud it's just the text oh oh it we just, hear what it they're just saying. Appears. okay do you get a <laughs> yeah, chance to like they're... correct it if it's wrong um, no, it has to be verbatim. No, no, the, I mean, like, the, like, does the program the software, mishear yes. you? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, we have to, we have to train the program to, to get our voice down properly. I see. And, and we are allowed to correct it, but we do have to say everything verbatim. Like, it's, you know, that's what I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna, like, start, like, embellishing someone's calls with, like, details <laughs> or whatever, just, like, leaving out words, yeah. but yeah. Do, do they, like, do they just... So someone on one end just like tells you what they want to say and you just like read it or No, we they don't they basically it's supposed to be like we're not there. Okay. We need to just make it seamless. I see. So someone like reads something or they say what they want. So someone just reads say, something or something yeah. they want. They say and yeah, basically I, you know how that was speaking monotone right there? That's yeah. what I have to say. I just talk like that so the software picks it up perfectly. I see. And then it co- turns into text. And then it goes on the person's screen. I see. So that's that's pretty cool. So do do they have yeah. like what they want to say like pre written, or do they just like say stuff to you and then you read it off and then it goes on the other end screen? It's it's just we it's literally all reactionary. I see. <laughs> Fucking reactionary. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> they just say stuff and then we have to repeat I see. it. I see. Just repeat exactly what they say, and that's it. Yes, that that doesn't and sound too bad. We, I was warned. Literally the day of the interview, I was warned. Uh, you're gonna, you might, you're going to most likely hear stuff you're gonna be uncomfortable with, profanity, slurs. It's, it's just, it, it's just something that you have to kind of deal with. Yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah, I can see some and controversy also, arising um, from that. Yeah, and also we have an F. It's it's all um, FCC. Mm-hmm. So um, we have to, it's like, Does it's it FCC get, like, compliance. So, uh, no, it's just that we have to be lock and key about what happens in these conversations. We're not allowed to say. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that, that would be, that would probably get you fired if you just start talking about like what other people talk about on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this fucking, this fucking bitch. Just God, just keep talking about, over yeah, yeah, basically. Just keep talking about how much you hated like, like every, every Black group people. of people ever, like. <laughs> How he's gonna like take like, like is there a line where like you're allowed to do something like what if someone calls and they're like talking <laughs> about like terrorist like, um, threats um like we, do they know it's through you like I uh, doubt someone they, would. basically if it's like a if it's a scam call we 
we can report it. Mm. And what they do is they'd contact the person and be like, hey, there's a, a number of scam calls going on. For stuff like that with like threats and stuff, we can't interfere. Oh. We just have to kind of... <laughs> You just have to deal with it and so you have to uh, read off like the the scam messages yeah. oh my god mm -hmm. what if someone like fell for it though yeah i know <laughs> trust me it's it's old people but that would be awful said it, wait that would be awful trainer, the way the person who was training us said it was if they could hear no one would be there to tell them it's a scam either so i mean yeah but then they also wouldn't answer the phone or or like they would just see it's a, like, like what if you see them and they're they actually like fall for the scam and they like put in their credit card number or something then we just then it's just we we just have to what? play with it it's not <laughs> That's just how it be sometimes. This would be a funny idea for like a sitcom of just like a guy who works at like one of these places and he just has to deal with like the most absurd shit imaginable. Yeah, like he's just the saying. only one who gets the weird shit. Everyone just gets the other, the normal things. Like yeah, the yeah, they, they have like, no idea why he's like like what's going on or like they're like yeah, why is he like, so drained? Like why does he look so exhausted yeah. every day? Like it's not that bad. And like obviously you probably can't talk about your and phone just calls at his to your desk, coworkers. Like, he just at his desk in between calls like, oh my life fucking sucks. He's just like, why do I have to do this? <laughs> <laughs> like someone, it's like th these are only for like people with like disability, right? With like who are, like these, yeah, can't anyone hear who has or, like hard a, hearing. Hard of hearing if they're recommended to it by like a, a doctor. So so they know that it's that their calls are like through your service, right? Yes. Okay. So the people so who yeah, the people okay. who get the caption call phone, that's why they have it. So like these people getting these calls know that. Other people are like seeing their stuff, but they're they're paid well, to the keep it is, quiet. Well, um, well, not to keep yes, quiet, but it's just also, a morality um, thing. Also, there was actually I would just learn this in a meeting today. Oh boy. Um, one one person. Oh gosh, should I say this? I was told this at work. Uh, uh, it, omit as many details as you can, but like make it make uh -huh. sense. All right, I'll I won't. I'll just say. People have the op option to turn off captioning if they do not feel comfortable with giving specific information. I see. So <laughs> even though they know that we are under under the FCC's thumb, that is just that they have the option to turn it off if they do not feel comfortable with saying something specific. Mm. So w what does that entail? Like they, <laughs> like if someone if someone wants to buy a. Um, someone's trying to buy something over the phone and they mm -hmm. need to input like a credit card oh number, yeah yeah like they, can, information. they can just turn off the captioning I and see. and just have it so it doesn't like type out yeah. their, their credit card number or something it's just yeah so it's just so <laughs> it's just that we won't even hear it i see it'll just I end see. oh it'll, it'll end just go straight to them or something or <clears throat> yeah it'll I just see. the call the call for us ends I as see, the captioning I see. And if they turn captioning back on, it just it, goes it to another the... person on oh, the call okay. floor. That makes sense. That makes sense. I, I that would be really weird, just like picking up in like the middle of a call and just being like, okay. Yeah. It's like, okay, thank you for your time. Goodbye. It's like what? <laughs> okay, thank you for your time. Goodbye. I'm I'm just imagining like this character we made up like being in the middle of like a <laughs> yeah. drug deal or something. <laughs> and he gives like he no or, or or like a like a terrorist attack or something and they give like the exact information, like the time and date and, and like, he and he can't say anything. Yeah, oh my god, like, that would be what? awful. Yeah, or else he would get fired, right? Even if he stopped you know what's like funny? A, oh my god. They actually they actually said that they do have like counseling and stuff if d someone does experience trauma from oh hearing this god. kind of stuff over the phone. Jesus. But yeah, it's like, what if that happens? Like, like, are you are you obligated to do like the right thing and like save the you people? Are, or you are no, you you cannot. You're also legally not allowed to testify in court oh uh, if you are because of the compliance, That's, the confidentiality. I know that that makes sense, like with, with the job and stuff. But I just like imagine, like like I know it's a very low chance of that happening because it's for like deaf mm -hmm. people. Like like I'm not saying, okay, I'm not gonna say deaf people can't commit crimes but you know what i'm saying like it could yeah. happen like there's a chance <laughs> mm -hmm. it could happen and like i don't know that's just messed up to me this is a depressing topic <laughs> yeah <laughs> but I, I do i do like our character that we made up just like yeah. the, the worst <laughs> scenario <laughs> if someone can draw tim the depressed captioning agent um, <laughs> yeah yeah please <laughs> so, at me on tumblr or twitter and i'll, I'll reblog slash retweet it to my moderate viewer base of people who who probably 
don't listen to the I mean, podcast. <laughs> I mean, you gotta know your memes, so you already reached your peak. Yeah, I got one mention in one article, and that was about about, it. about Adam about Adam Ellis. Yeah, he's cool now. He's pretty cool yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Ever <laughs> since he got the fired first from Buzzfeed, comic he made after leaving Buzzfeed immediately was better. Yeah, I know. I yeah. the funniest thing. Yeah, and uh, and like some people still comment on that post, like you know he's changed since then, right? And I'm like, you know, posts have dates on them, right? Yeah, like, like you can no go shit, and see, like, just like Tumblr really needs like a built-in like post date mechanism, yeah. like Twitter, because like people will just like dig up old posts and be like, isn't this fucked up? And it's like, yeah, but it's from five years ago. Like I'm pretty sure that's blown over by now. Like yeah. Like, like, it would be so easy to do. Just put it, like, right next to the notes. Like, however many notes, and then, like, the date in whatever the computer's date form is. Like, it would be so goddamn easy. And, like, I literally threw a date thing on the post on my blog in, like, 30 minutes, maybe. Just trying to get, like, the formatting right and stuff. Like, I, I, I plopped the code in there, and then I checked if it worked, and then I spent, like, a little while tweaking it to make sure it was, like, to my liking. Because I, I prefer month first. It just makes more sense. I never got why British people put the day first, because not everybody says, like, oh, it's the 13th of September. <coughs> like, we only say that for 4th of July, because it's a holiday, and that makes it stand out yeah. the way you say it. When yeah. you say, like, when you say a date, like, day first, it makes it sound more important. The like, only the only other time we say it is um, is when in the classic Earth, Wind, and Fire hit song, September. The 21st you night of, the 21st yeah. night of yeah, September. Right. That's a week and a day from now. <laughs> Oh shit! We're Wait. gonna be recording on the, the day. <laughs> We're gonna be recording before. the day before. Uh, Fuck. That's whatever. It, the podcast will probably go up the day after if I if All I right. can actually edit and export so it on time. We, we, <laughs> if we do, we need to open that by saying Happy Earth, Wind, and Fire Day. Yeah, Happy September podcast episode. What if we just recorded a podcast for the entire month of September, just nonstop, like <laughs> thirty days oh, or thirty? God. Is it thirty or thirty-one? I can never remember. <laughs> Let me check uh 30 okay i was right so like the entire 30 days of of uh <coughs> november we just recorded the podcast non-stop like live <laughs> that'd be a good like charity live stream you'd probably die yeah 31 full days <laughs> i could see like a day days. a day for a podcast because you're talking yeah. with like the 24 hours yeah with, with like streams if you're playing a game you could always like go quiet or, or just like talk when you get like a question in mm -hmm. chat or something <laughs> or if you get bored yeah. Like, or a if podcast there's like people stream actually watching. 24 hours. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, hey, like, I still wanna... after we do uh, 12 episodes, that'll be 24 hours worth of podcast if we, keep up the, if we keep up the two hours worth. Yeah. I still want to do that sleepwalk stream. That would be I fun. I really want to do one. For yellow? Are you going to continue your file <laughs> or are you going to start over? I probably, I'd probably pick, if I did yellow, I probably wouldn't do on the 3DS. I'd probably oh. like, do it on card. Or oh, I, is that I what you were recording Japanese your series gold. off? <laughs> yeah, I got, I got the virtual console I version. See, I see. It's because, um, it was before I got the GCHD, but it was because a friend mm. was saying he was going to buy it for me. And then he was just, he was just busy with other things. So he wasn't <laughs> able to get it out to me. So. He was busy with and his then, money somewhere <laughs> else. I mean, he literally, I mean, he was kind of busy buying every game on the Wii Virtual Console. <laughs> Basic, oh, like that him. friend? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that friend. Which, honestly, I respect that hustle. I respect That's it. Ridiculous. So, <laughs> I don't care. The Wii U is still going to sell for like $5. <laughs> no, nah, dude, the Wii U is going to become the, I'm saying it, the Wii U is going to become the next Dreamcast. It's going to. Yeah, they're going to come out with a Wii U classic. That just reminds me of that Mega64 <laughs> video. Where he sells him the Wii U Classic for like seven hundred dollars. <laughs> He's like, why not just buy a Wii U? <laughs> He's like, what the I think fuck the is Wii U is like, I think the Wii U's big issue is that the for the secondhand value is the fucking gamepad. It's going to fucking be the main reason why its secondhand value is going to just stay high for a good portion of, of its life. What? Just because you have to buy both? <laughs> yeah. Together. Because it's yeah. Essential. Yeah, basically. I don't like that. I wish it wasn't. <laughs> Like, like the Wii U is like a hundred, a hundred sixty dollars. Yeah. And I don't think it's going to get any cheaper than that. The gamepad's probably itself, like eighty. 
Yeah, the Wii U by itself. I've seen. I want to buy a Japanese Wii U whenever they announce the eShop shutting down date because I want to buy the only official re-release of Mother Three. You gotta get it in advance, uh, dude. I, I wouldn't wait that long because, like, by the time you order it, or by the time you like get the money and then order it and then it ships and then it arrives, like, it could be like they could announce it like a week before. <clears throat> And you wouldn't have enough time to like get it unless you like super I mean, rush the shipping. The, they announced the end of the Wii. Um, they announced the end of the Wii thing like months in advance. That's true. I don't know. <laughs> that was because it was a much bigger like user base, though, wasn't it? Like obviously, yeah, a lot more also, people had Wiis than we use. Yeah, but also Nintendo knows that there's a fan base for the Wii U, and also they know yeah. that there's stuff that only exists on the Wii U and the yeah. Wii U eShop like the Pikmin 3 DLC just like the for, Wii eShop for, for a while like when the Wii yeah. eShop, when the Wii shop closed like there was no other official like re-release of Mega Man 9 <laughs> or 10 until like the Legacy Collection yeah. 2 came out people were like oh thank god <laughs> yeah well there's Xbox Live Arcade and PSN but mm. those that still requires a 360 or PS3 what do you mean <laughs> they a Mega Man 9 and 10 came out oh, on Xbox oh. 360, I didn't PS3, know that. and Wii. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. But, um, didn't it but, Didn't it lock you yeah. out of, like, some games after the shop closed? Um, for I thought me? I, no, I, I thought I heard about it, like, locking people out of Wii Shop games after... I think, like, maybe, maybe I'm just misremembering or thinking of I something think else. I it might be know. just game, some specific games that and, required, like, online play or something. Yeah. We still gotta see about seeing if we can get someone to, uh, like, mod Superstar Saga on the Wii U to enable multiplayer. <laughs> Nobody commented yeah, on I that wondered. one episode, so I was just like, all right, well, our, yeah. our cry for help was I lost wondered, to the yeah. void. <laughs> I do think it is possible because it's in the it's in the GBA ROM file specifically. Yeah, it has to be. It's someone could easily mod, player. like, the cartridge, but then what's the point? Because yeah. it's a Game Boy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I do own the GameCube and the HDMI adapter yeah. already, so it, we, it's not we're like pretty it's much that good to go. Deal. Yeah, we're pretty much yeah. good to go. Is that on our list of like games to play? I think it is. <laughs> I think, yeah, we made a Let's Play doc yeah. as well. <laughs> just just to keep track of like all the games we wanted to play together. <laughs> Speaking of games, I just beat Pikmin One a few days ago. Oh yeah, I never got far in Pikmin One or Two. I think I said that already, but but that's <laughs> yeah. good to hear that you, I, you beat it. I re I barely fucking beat it. I <laughs> yeah. just barely got um superstar saga is on here nice, <laughs> but, um, nice basically what happened was i was barely getting by with one part a day and whenever i had to take a break to restock pikmin i had to like be on my grind on my shit and get like two Jesus. parts <laughs> to keep myself back up literally mm. day 28 i had two parts left like the end of day 28 i had one moved out of its spot and one still in it and i was just like oh fuck i'm getting i'm down to the wire here there's, I am probably not going to get the best ending, but you need 25 parts to mm -hmm. get the the okay ending. <laughs> so basically, I was like, all right, day 29, I'm going to fucking grind my shit. I'm going to, I'm going to be 100% sure I get these last two parts in the same day. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I did. I did it literally like before it was even halfway through. So, and I was just like, oh God, it's a day 30. I unlock and the final day trial 15. is when you get the last ship part. <laughs> Give it up for day fifteen. But um, should make that joke if we play Pikmin. Like when it turns day fifteen, we'll yeah. just green screen in Mr. Krabs or something. <laughs> it's like day fifteen, um, or like on. The, is there like a day transition screen where it like shows you the day? No, it's just after that day ends, it just is the next day on the menu. Because you, you but, have um, to like, don't you have to like fly up at night, or else you get yes. eaten? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, like, because can you do that? That would have been a good place for like a like a transition thing or something. I don't know. Yeah, it'd have to be like <laughs> but, um, really quiet. Basically, you only get the um, you only get to the final trial when you have twenty nine out of thirty ship parts. Oh boy. So, and it was there on my the last day. I was like, I literally looked up like optimal like speedrun strats <laughs> of getting through there. Nice. So I had enough time to find the final boss and get the shit part back Jesus. and it it was clutch it was honestly it genuinely was amazing it felt I love shit like really that. fucking good yeah <laughs> honestly i for me i I've, I've only had experience with pikmin 2 and i never really got what people were saying about like the urgency in pikmin 1 with the day count mm. <laughs> but i kind of get it now but i still don't necessarily think the urgency it is one of the key factors to why that game is good yeah it's just it just kind of adds to it. Part of it yeah, yeah. like it majora's mask the, the 
Except Majora's Mask, you can, like, reset, but you only have, like, one small window to, like, do any mm -hmm. given thing per cycle. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen that guy who beat all of Majora's Mask in one three-day cycle? I I think I've heard about it. I've never specifically you gotta watched. You gotta watch it. It was really good. Like, he cuts it so close, like, getting the, uh... Because you need the, uh, the Garo Mask, I think it's called, the mm -hmm. Ninja Mask. You need that. Yeah. And to get that, you need to get to the ranch. And to get to the ranch, you need the... the powder keg mm -hmm. so you know how to get that right so i don't have to like yeah, track it all the so. way back so he had you to need, like a goron. he had to yeah he had to go get arrows he, he had to do like all this stuff in like woodfall and then go over to the um i forget what the snowy area is called but he had to he had to go up there and like get the goron mask and like go through the dungeon and like get all that shit he had to do so much all within like the first day because i think the ranch closes or, or like the the track closes at like 6 p.m. on the first day, so he had to like mm -hmm. slow down time and like do all that shit. And I was like, man, man I should rewatch that now because it was really entertaining seeing him do that. Mm -hmm. And in the 64 version, I think the song of the the one that slows time, the reverse song of time, I think it's like yeah. not as slow as it is in the 3DS version. Like I think in the 64 version, <laughs> it's like a third speed, and I think on hmm. 3D, it's like a fourth speed or something like that. It's probably not that drastic, but just off the top of my yeah. head, like like the 3DS one is slightly slower when you slow time. Mm -hmm. We should play that. That would be really fun. I know we have the um, we have the 3DS remakes on Hell the yeah. um, on the on the dock. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, I've never I've yeah, never beaten a Zelda there. game. So yeah, I was uh last time I played Majora's Mask, I was trying to do like reverse boss order where I like do the dungeons mm -hmm. backwards, and I got to um. I keep forgetting the names of the areas. Goddamn. I got to the fucking ghost town. I used, like, ice arrows and, like, the hook shot to, like, platform up there. It was really tricky. I had to do a speedrunning trick, actually. You know that thing they do where they, like, place a bomb down and then, like, roll into it, and then the bomb explosion, mm -hmm. like, pushes them over the ledge with, like, more momentum? Yeah. So it's, like, enough to, like, jump over. So I did that. Mm -hmm. So I wasted my time getting ice arrows because I didn't need them. Because <laughs> I, I thought I needed them to, like, cross over, but then, like, I, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. so it was a huge waste of time so anyway uh i should pick that up again because i had a whole like thing of like notes on like how to do it and like what exactly yeah. to do to like get to that point so i should go and try it again i think i'm still at like three hearts so it'll probably be hard because i'm used to like doing the later areas with more health obviously oh mm -hmm. i remember why i stopped i had to do the well and i didn't have any bottles so i think mm -hmm. i was gonna go back and get some bottles or at least one or as many as i can <laughs> yeah it just felt cool having all the masks already without having beaten the yeah. other dungeons. I love sequence breaking shit like that. It is cool. I also had to do this like side flip. Y you know that giant like icicle you have to shoot so it like falls down? And how mm -hmm. you have to like shoot it with the arrow. Uh, yeah. You have to like, the thing you have to do to skip it is like Z target it at like a really specific wall and then like side hop onto the wall and then like keep Z targeting it so you can like walk around. Because if you mm -hmm. stop Z-targeting it, like, the game picks up and it, like, realizes you shouldn't be standing there. So it, like, pushes you down. Because those slopes are supposed to be, like, slidey slopes that you're oh, not supposed cool. to stand on. So, like, by doing the... By abusing, like, the, the Z-aim glitch, you can, like, kind of walk over it and then just kind of roll over the side and then get the bombs and go on mask and shit. It's so fun. I gotta pick it up again. What, uh... What games are coming out soon? Fucking... Oh, Hat in Time on Switch. I gotta stream that. Oh wait, the, the, what day was it? Uh, October, October something, <laughs> like mid October. I I pre-ordered it on Amazon because I'm like I want to get it as soon as possible. Um, uh, Link's Awakening comes out next Friday. Oh, that's true. It's a shame I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I I, I might, do have honestly... money, but I don't want to be buying every game as soon as it yeah. comes out. I gotta like watch myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm moving half of my money to my savings account for my first paycheck because that's what I agreed on with my mom. Nice, but, um, nice. I'm Good thinking call. about what I, what game I want to buy with my with the half of with the half. I'm thinking I've I I I posted it before. I was thinking either Borderlands Three, Link's Awakening, um, Three Houses, or pre order for Luigi's Mansion Three. Hmm. You could always put like some money down on Luigi's Mansion because that doesn't come out <laughs> yeah, for another month. That's true. So you'll have this plenty of money true. by then. Yeah, I'll definitely have... I would get the money for it. Yeah, so you don't have to, like, fully pay it off right away. You could always just, like... I would say Link's Awakening. That'd probably be... Because you never beat yeah. a Zelda game, so that, that'd be a great start. Yeah. I, I love the original, and I do think the remake probably fixes a lot of things that, like... 
I people know a lot of the big like, issue right? that I've seen people have with it was the fact that it was on the Game Boy and you have to constantly switch out items for the mm. A and B button. I never thought it was that bad, honestly. The menu. I don't know why. Isn't, um, on Virtual Console, isn't X, like, a swap out for start? Yes. I think that's why, I, I always just use that, and, and I never thought it was that bad. Because, like, you can get really fast with the menuing. Like, I've seen speedrunners just, like, open up the menu, press, like, blue, 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 and pr they, they press, like, three buttons, and then all their items are changed. It's like, whoa. That's cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, no, I'm hoping if Link's Awakening does well, they do, um, Oracles. they do remakes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and th they're making them from scratch, too, because they're the original Game Boy games. Yeah. You know what I think would be cool? I know they're already, like, kind of teasing us with, like, that Dungeon Maker thing. But, like... Yeah, a Zelda Maker. Yeah. An actual Zelda Dungeon Maker. You can, you can only use, like, dungeon rooms that exist within the game. Is the yeah. thing. Like, you can't make your own room. I, I was wasn't... You can't share them online. Yeah, which is, is, like, you just save them to an amiibo and then give them to a friend or something. <laughs> Here, take my take my amiibo and stick it on your on your face. I mean, that does sound fun, like trading dungeons with someone and then yeah. like seeing who can beat them first. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, I'm really shocked at the at the capabilities of amiibo. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like Skylanders. <laughs> yeah, dude, Skylanders but were I mean, my shit in middle school. I the thing is though, for me, I never I got Skylanders for the 3DS and I got oh confused. no no that one's not good. <laughs> I I no. never got to. I never really got to experience the first game, and also for some reason the 3DS version came with different figures and everything else. Yeah, 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 completely. <laughs> came with Dark Spiral when he made these weird gurgly grunting noises. Dude, Dark Spiral was cool. He's just like an alternate color. Yeah, I thought it was cool. <laughs> he didn't, he looked he acted kind of weird though. For me, it was just like <laughs> that's weird. I don't like this. I think that's only in the 3DS one because in the in the <clears throat> Wii one he's just kind of like a palette swap. And I think his moves just have different effects or colors or something. Like, I don't mm -hmm. think he has any powers that regular Spyro doesn't. Oh, fuck. I want to get the Spyro Reignited trilogy. Dude, I have, like, all the original Skylanders back home. And, like, a lot of the rest of them. We could, we could, dude, let's, let's play Skylanders. <laughs> like, one of the games. I wouldn't be, I would not be against it. Because I have all of them, so we could easily use, like, every character. They're all, like, fully powered up. <laughs> Skylanders episode one, the biggest scam in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Toys to life. Yeah. Toy Story. <laughs> Let's just name all the episodes something stupid. Just name them. Just yeah. Toy you Story two, Ripto's me. Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I forgot they were supposed to be like a Spyro like spinoff <laughs> successor thing. Yeah. Like, and then it sold well, but yeah. the thing is, though, parents hated it, and then people started to hate it. And then I didn't, like, 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 I hate that they were just like, I, I'm glad when the second game came out, I was worried that they wouldn't be like backwards compatible and that you would have to just buy like the all new ones. Like, cause you know, they, they always like remake mm -hmm. some of the figures for like the new games. But yeah. the thing is like, they have like different powers. I think they would always increase the level cap. Cause in, in the first game it was like 10 and then in giants it was like 15 and then in like swap force it was like 20. So you would always be like re-leveling up your old ones and like doing shit like that but um honestly the thing about skylanders is i loved it as a kid and now i can maybe only name like a couple of them off the top of my head <laughs> honestly i just for me i, I it was maybe it's because my lack of experience with it but i had a friend who was also super into it mm. i just think i think it's just kind of i think the whole the whole idea of skylanders and toys life was kind of predatory mm. oh yes very <laughs> very like, unlike kids who yeah, just want just toys like, yeah or just like because you, all... you need you need some like types of characters yeah, to get to certain areas to get, in the game yeah, like they're optional the they're optional but they're definitely <laughs> like oh if only you could go in here you know yeah it's like it's cool that I it think, comes with I... like three <laughs> to like start you me, off i think there's like i know people were comp saying like breath of the wild and like using amiibo to get some things like Epona and like having a dog. Yeah, but like but you don't, I don't need think... those things. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing is though, like for me, it's not a whole area of the game. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, yeah, you. It's not like you only can get Epona and you can't get any other horse. Yeah. No, you can get a horse. You can name it Butt Fart and then go on an yeah, adventure. Yeah, basically, that's like, better. And, why get Why get a horse you can't change the name of? <laughs> 
I literally named mine who... underpant because it's it's yeah, midsection looked like it had pants on. <laughs> I remember I remember that stream. Yeah, I haven't played in a while. I should do that. But um <clears throat> I but yeah, for me I just think there's a difference of like having a small extra like a dog or mm. like um Yeah, like an Easter or egg having or like... the the cannon horse but like yeah. they're, they're having a no access to actual areas of the video game. Yeah. That that'd be like if you couldn't get the master sword unless you bought like the Link Amiibo <laughs> or some shit like yeah. that. Then like, I would then I would be entirely yeah, like, Nothing in Breath of the Wild is gated off from completion by amiibos, but like yeah, if you want a hundred percent if you want a hundred percent Skylanders, you need at least like one of every type. <laughs> You know what I think would be a you know what I think could have been a fun thing to do as a costume for uh, Breath of the Wild, if you have the Toon Link amiibo, you'd get you get a costume like with the um, Mario sixty four model Mario, and it's just like it just it's Toon Link, which just completely and, and, turns you into Toon Link. Yeah, that'd be a little silly. They'd have to animate <laughs> yeah, that whole but, thing. Yeah, I know, but I think I think silly costumes should have the right to exist in every video game, especially Maybe. horror games. There's plenty in, <laughs> in Breath of the Wild. Link has like the female one, which is supposed to be like a joke. Yeah. And then there's all the monster hats, which are just like decoy monster hats to make the monsters think you're one of them. <laughs> and it doesn't even work on like some of them or like the there's the Lionel mask mm -hmm. that just doesn't work. Like he'll he'll catch on like really fast and yeah. he'll just fucking kill you. <laughs> What was I gonna say? Oh, oh yeah. Um, in the in the later games of Skylanders, like in the first game, they were just kind of like side areas where you would get like a collectible or like lots of gold. But um, in like Swap Force, depending on like what type of gate it was, I think you would get like a mini game, like like a flying mini game or like a like a. I think it mm -hmm. depended on the type really, but you would yeah. get like a little section where you would like fly through some things and then get a thing at the end. And some of those things are like soul gems, mm -hmm. which are like special upgrades that you have to unlock like in the levels in order to be able to buy them with like gold <laughs> Oof. which is yeah that's pretty something y you know skylanders could definitely be worse if there was like micro transactions like i yeah. think if you wanted to make an evil game like just from the basis even more evil all you'd have to do is just be like hey uh <coughs> spend ten dollars on gold so you can just upgrade your skylander oh my god no yeah. I'm, I'm giving them ideas <coughs> Activision, yeah, don't give, please, don't, please don't listen. Don't make don't, a phone game. Would they even we, be able to do that? Like, how about... Activision, we know you're avid listeners to this podcast. Yeah, so. you're you're one of the six viewers. <laughs> and we know, and we know you we you take our industry advice very seriously. Yeah. Please do not listen to us this one time. I thought it was pretty cool that they put like Crash and like Bowser and DK <laughs> in one of the new ones. Yeah, I think that's really interesting. <laughs> I looked up a video of like there was this YouTuber I used to watch who would like show all the upgrades for like each skylander and like both mm -hmm. uh both paths that you could get of the upgrades and he would like show you which one he thought was like better and um i looked up uh the crash move set and i thought it was pretty cool he like throws boxes everywhere at, like exploding like nitro what or whatever he? and he like spins around and flops and stuff was neocortex one was he a skylander oh he might be what i'm thinking of i, I haven't yeah. seen it in so long but it was uh, it was pretty cool. That YouTuber actually got like paid. Like they sent him Skylanders and stuff. Oh shit! Like to to review them or like they sent him the games, which is pretty sick. I haven't That's watched it in neat. so long. I remember being in middle school watching in one of his videos, and it was like one of his early ones before he was like popular. And he said like, mm. oh, he just destroys them like a little bitch. And he put like an annotation <laughs> that was just like. I'm sorry, like, I didn't realize, like, children were watching these because it's, like, a kid's game. Like, I'll, I'll be better in the future. Like, I'll, <laughs> I'll be more clean in the future. I was like, man, that's that's weird. That's surreal to think about that I, like, witnessed that yeah. when I was, like, 12. <laughs> 12 or 13, I don't remember. Dude, one day I'm just going to sell my entire Skylander collection and it's going to go for some price because they're going to be collector's items in, like, 10, 20 years. Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to play the game, like, without one of them yeah and i remember one of the i remember one of the skylanders vividly because it was like one of the rarest ones and it was so hard to find it was a wham shell that like crab with the mace the like water type guy he was so cool though like he was so worth like trying to get oh my god i love him yeah he's cool oh you were looking him up yeah he's cool I, yeah i think you would like a he lot of the designs 
Because a lot of them. I, are I remember cool. I one of my uh, one of my favorite designs was this round guy who was like made of like lava. Oh, I oh, name. I know who you're talking about. Who who like spits up the magma balls? I think it's yeah, a I Ruptor really or cool. something like that. He's pretty cool. Yeah, that's... he reminds me of that Kirby power up where you turn into a volcano and like shoot rocks out of your head. Yeah. If you just look up like fire type Skylanders, I'm sure it'll show up. I see him. I love this guy. He's one of my really cool. one of my favorite guys was like the flame sword guy who was like a possessed suit of armor, and his like sword would like as you upgraded it more, it would like change fire colors. It was so fucking cool. Oh, that's cool. Dude, like, dude, if we if we let's play Skylanders, I'm just gonna whip out like all my like overpowered like busted guys. It just it, unless people would rather I like reset them. For, like, the sake mm -hmm. of the Let's Play. Like, I could do that, because I haven't played in so long, so I wouldn't really mind, like, yeah. you know, actually having, like, the progression of the game. But, like, on the other hand, mm -hmm. it's so fun to just, like, destroy people. <laughs> yeah. Also, I have, a, I have a game we could potentially Let's Play. It's the game that I probably talked to you about before and explained, maybe even on this podcast. Hmm. But it's a game that I need to get in my life, and I need to experience. What is it? <laughs> It's a game called Def Jam Fight for New York. That rings and a bell. And basically, it's this game. It's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. It's a 3D fighting game. And it it has... It, it uses the likeness and the voice talent of multiple rappers from the Def Jam label. <laughs> and um, it has a story mode. It has a campaign. And um, Reminds basically... Me of Shaq you're this guy. You're this... You make it... You're your own player character. And... You had like there's there's a skill tree, oh there's boy. RPG mechanics like, <laughs> and you have to you just have to beat the shit out of these rappers from Def Jam and they <laughs> and they have voice lines they voice act through it the whole game. That's hilarious. <laughs> this is the only video game where you can use impossible anime ninja kicks to beat the shit out of DMX. <laughs> That's great. Um, what, what was that? I remember, like, um, I'm oh, sorry. What was, what was that a Sonic game you wanted to Let's Play with me? <coughs> Sonic Chronicles. You, you gotta put that Sonic on Chronicles. there. I don't think you added that. I'm putting that on there. Okay, yeah. Because I, I didn't... <laughs> I own it. I remember you not. I remember you mentioning it, but I didn't remember if you added it like, or not. But I just remember I, I, now. Yeah, don't look up anything about it. I won't, I won't, it. I won't, I won't. Okay. <laughs> All I'm going to say is that I never beat the game as a kid. How far did you get? get into... <laughs> I got, I got foreign, I got... A pretty decent way into the game. All I'll say is I unlocked Big the Cat, <laughs> and um, I'll, I'll I'll just explain when we do it okay. why I wasn't able to finish the game. Dude, I never beat Sonic Unleashed. I got stuck in like the last world. I couldn't beat the Eggman only Land. Sonic, uh, the only Sonic game I ever beat was Sonic Colors on the DS. Dude, both Sonic Color ga Colors games <laughs> is really good. I know Sonic Colors the DS is is, is essentially the third Sonic Rush game. Sort of, really yeah, liked, yeah. It has similar mechanics. I really like Sonic Rush, or not. I like Color of the S, so I might yeah. give them a try. Yeah, isn't one of them like Blaze? Like you play as Blaze. <laughs> yeah, um, Blaze, I believe, came from the Rush games. Nice, nice. Um, I I completed like fully both Sonic Colors versions. <laughs> it's because I love them so much, dude. That's I fucking cool. I love the Wisps as a kid. Like the little fairies. I think they're really cool creature designs. Yeah, I I had a Flipnote Hatena account back in the day, which goes to show how oh. old I am. And uh, oh damn, I remember Flipnote Hatena. I would that was I would awesome. I would draw the the Sonic Colors wisps, and I would like animate them floating, just because it was really easy. Because you just kind of slid them up and down a frame, and I would yeah. I would like animate them, and so it was really fun because they were just so fun to draw. Like they're simple yet like yeah. that they're like. They're simple and they're also like distinctive. Like you could see like the yeah, silhouette they're... of one and be like, "Oh, that's the like, hover oh, or the rocket." That's drill. Or the... That's yeah, yeah, or rocket. the flame one. Yeah, they're really good. And, and I just like that they're all different colors. I don't know. Th yeah, that and like, like I gone. Uh, for me, like I, I after going through animation, I very much appreciate the the principle of appeal and yeah, like a banana. <laughs> the wisps are really fucking appealing. <laughs> You just ignored my jokes. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? You said there. You said the thing is appeal, and I said, yeah, like a banana. Oh, oh I get it. Uh, the cat of Matt Watson uh, from uh, Super Mega. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> dude, he's here, Matt Watson. Hey guys. You know what's funny? <laughs> there's a guy in a, when I was in a Discord call in a, in a Discord server. There's a guy who actually sounded like Matt Watson. Really? <laughs> like someone pointed out, and hearing him talk, it, it sounded like a slightly higher pitched Matt Watson. <laughs> That's great. 
Yeah, like, oh, Discord must just be messing it up. <coughs> Could have easily passed off as Matt Watson. I've been told I look like people that I look nothing like. Have you ever gotten yeah, that? Yeah, but apparently, uh, when I did a, when I, um, so, when we did my ID, when we did our senior year IDs at school, I, I, they told me to do a toothy smile, and I don't do good toothy smiles, mm. mostly because my teeth are fucked up and yeah. horrible. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, I was literally told by multiple people, I looked like Heath Ledger's Joker and Pennywise from the It remake. Combined? <laughs> Oh, just like Not separately. Combined. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus so yeah, Christ. thanks. Uh, you know who you are. Who fucking said that? Fuck you. Are they listening? Uh, are they listening? <laughs> no, they probably aren't. I haven't okay. talked to any of them since graduation. Well, but if you're you listening, know, then fuck you anyway. <laughs> yeah, you fuck. You hurt my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't take it back what I said. What the fuck, man? They're just like, yeah. That's messed up. That's people, just how I feel. People will see like one similarity and be like, oh, you look like that guy. Ha ha ha. It's like, okay. Uh, yeah, probably, how I original. Look like Bill Skarsgård as a demon clown. <laughs> oh, oh, like the original? It? <laughs> no, the the no from the remake. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what I was confused about. I was like the, yeah, the like. I look like I look. Apparently, I look like this <laughs> when I do a toothy smile. I don't know. You don't have that big of a forehead. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm not Jax Films. <laughs> oh, Jax Films, if you're listening, call call, call you, us out. <laughs> you know Pennywise was based off a real clown? Dude, clowns are real? <laughs> no, he's based off an actual specific clown. That's horrifying. They're just out there. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's like clown school. A, yeah. You have to go to school to be a clown. Meanwhile, <laughs> I'm just doing it on the internet for free. Mm -hmm. I should be arrested. <laughs> But, um, like... Basically, there's this um, there's this clown from uh, New York. His name is Wrinkles the Clown. Oh boy! It's fucking terrifying. That sounds like <laughs> a name a for someone's old... dick. He's a 70 year old military vet. Oh, does he put makeup on? <laughs> yes, he does. That's pretty impressive if he's like wrinkly. Because like putting he's makeup. 70 years old. <laughs> putting makeup on with like wrinkles and like stuff is hard. Yeah. So I can I do can respect that up. muscle. Anyone who has chlorophobia, do not look up Wrinkles the Clown. You, you will be scarred for life. And anyone who has the phobia <laughs> of long words, don't look up anti-disestablishmentarianism. Fuck, you just scared them! <laughs> I was just talking about with my roommate earlier. I was like, what, what if someone was like explaining their phobia of long words? Like, I forget what it's called. Like, what if someone was just like, I have a phobia. Ah! Like, they just scare themselves by saying <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Hippopotamonstrasa... I, oh god, hippopotamonstrosiquipedaliophobia. Yeah, I could just imagine someone saying that to explain their phobia and just like scaring themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, spooked myself. Thought I saw a long word. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said one. Where? <laughs> <laughs> where? <laughs> oh my god, I was watching Flapjack. It, it was the one where like, that's one of the cartoons I've been watching lately is, is uh, Misadventures of Flapjack. It's so good. Like, it's it's as good as I remember it, but, like, better now that I can, like, appreciate the humor more. Because, like, you know when you're a kid, you just kind of, like, watch stuff to watch it just because it's on. But, like, I, I do remember enjoying Flapjack, like, more than other cartoons. And, like, w one of the... I was never really a Cartoon Network kid, so uh, I, I rarely was. got to see these shows. I was, I was Nick, and I was uh, Cartoon Network. I was never uh, I was... Disney. I never watched Disney. I was... I was, you know what's funny? I was Nick and Disney Channel. Yeah, yeah. That That's why we both know Jimmy Neutron. That's like our crossover in like cartoon <laughs> And the Fairly watching. Odd Parents. Yeah, and yeah. Like a lot of like that stuff. That's true, yeah. And the fucking live action movie with Drake Bell. I haven't seen that since it came out. <laughs> oh, God. I've seen them. In, I've seen them because a YouTuber I watched, Quentin Reviews, reviewed them. And their his videos were pretty funny. Oh, my God. I saw a review of that that Spy Kids movie you saw because I never saw anything from it the the 4D one. I watched a review yeah. of it and I was like, "Wow, is that bad, huh?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, it had a fucking fart scratch and sniff thing for the movie. <laughs> yeah, like, but they were all farts. Were they were literally no, like not all, all farts. No, I or, I remember only one of them being a fart. One really? of them smelled like flowers. They they basically just threw that in there to fill in the card, though. Yeah. They were like, oh, Johnny, we need a 10th smell for the smell card. It was like, uh, put in a scene of one of them farting somewhere and we'll put it that in the there. It was a dog. I remember that. Yeah, it was a yeah. talking dog. Yeah, you're right. It's just like, 
Th- throwing throwing one of the one of the characters farting. What what do we have? A funny dog and a funny baby. Make the funny dog fart, <coughs> and we'll put that on the card. And then we'll have the funny baby laugh at the funny dog fart. It will be epic. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's like Son of the Mask. <laughs> oh, it had God. a dog and a baby. <laughs> You know what's one of my you know what's one of my favorite movie watching experiences? Hold on, wait. Before um, you get to that, I, I want to explain why I brought a flapjack in the first place. Th- there was a there was a joke. There was an episode where like Peppermint Larry teaches Flapjack about puns and like jokes, and um, Knuckles was like also trying to teach him. And he's like, "Here's how you be funny. How you be funny is you make fun of people." And I'm like, "Oh, that's just the internet." And uh, yeah. he was like, say there's a lady in a big red hat. And then Flapjack goes, there's a lady in a big red hat. And Knuckles is like, really? Where? And then Bubby starts losing her shit. <laughs> I just thought that was really funny. I was like, that's, that's, my, awesome. th- that's my type you of know, humor. Um, <laughs> did you know that the person who made Gumball, or not Gumball, Flapjack, is the director of fucking Angry Birds, the movie too? Really? <laughs> yeah. That's fucking insane. Throw up Van Orman. Yes, he that's voices, him. He, he voices Flapjack. <laughs> that's just his normal voice. What the fuck? That's just what he sounds like. Yeah, if, if you look up like an interview with him, he literally just sounds like that. He reminds yeah, me of like... The, his voice reminds me director. kind of like of Maryland in a way, where his voice is like kind of high-pitched. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll send you one later. You don't have to look now. <laughs> but, but yeah, he, he, directed, he directed Angry Birds 2. That's insane. I didn't um, see <laughs> either movie. I never saw the first one. I watched the Nostalgia Critic because I thought, why not? <laughs> and he fucking hated it, but a lot I mean, of people yeah. I know enjoyed it. So. Oh my god. They had the funny pee but, um, scene. <laughs> but basically, one of my favorite movie watching experiences was one day after middle school, me and some friends, we all went to go watch Spongebob Sponge Out of Water together. And we um, we and at this specific movie theater, there was a candy store right next to it. <laughs> and so... We, we just loaded up on candy nice. and snuck it in, <laughs> and it was a uh, it was a good experience. Dude, I want to work at a movie theater. I think it'd be fun to just be a cashier <laughs> and not have to clean anything up. Just work in the ticket booth or whatever. Yeah, basically, that would be so easy. Just like print the tickets like yeah. for eight hours. <laughs> They're probably just on the computer <laughs> for most of the time. Yeah. But it'd be so easy. Like if I could probably even like bring my switch or something. Future it's employers do not listen. To be a dick. Okay, future employers to be a... strike this from my record. <laughs> so it's like, hey, if you're my it's boss in the future and you're me. listening to this, uh I, I I've changed since since the recording of this. I assure you I will not be slacking off uh, at Maddie, work. Maddie has changed since 9 13 2019. <laughs> By the way, it's palindrome. It's oh, palindrome yeah. yeah, you're right. <laughs> Nine one three one nine. You're right. It's also Friday the Thirteenth. That's also a full moon. Yeah, all the vampire, uh, all the werewolves are gonna have really bad luck. <laughs> and also, um, it's also the fiftieth anniversary of Scooby Doo. Dude, I heard Friday the Thirteenth was also on nine eleven this year. Wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I love shit like that. <laughs> like, have you have you seen that meme where it's just like. Be careful, guys. Friday the 13th falls on Halloween this year. Stay safe. Yeah, our, oh, my God. You know, what's even, you know what's even funnier? My dad uses my mom's Facebook account every now and again just to scroll through and see what's just see funny haha Facebook memes. Okay. And guess what? He, he fell for Christmas is going to be on Friday the 13th. <laughs> Didn't you tell me about this at some point? I don't remember. I think so. I think I told you when it happened. It must have been a long time ago, because I feel like I vaguely yeah, remember like you mentioning years that. Ago, oh I my thought god! Because the, <laughs> the I love I fucking love jokes like that. It's New so Year's funny. is on Friday the Thirteenth, guys. Watch out! Can't believe it. Uh oh, Valentine. I remember Valentine's Day was like right after Friday the Thirteenth once. I think it might have been last year or like sometime in the yeah. past few years. I think Valentine's is right after mm-hmm. Friday the Thirteenth. I'm glad my birthday can't be Friday the 13th. It, it would be right before, if anything. Yeah. And I always celebrate after my birthday, so I wouldn't have to worry about like mm-hmm. my party being on uh, Friday the 13th. You know what? Yeah. I did have some bad luck today. Uh, I went to lab this morning, and I forgot my water bottle. So that was something. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Maybe my shitty day at work was because of Friday the 13th. <laughs> Did anything bad happen in particular, or was training just draining? 
It was just I kept fucking up during these practice calls. Oh jeez. I I wasn't you have to get like a specific percentage of words right. I see. And I literally couldn't do it all day. Do they <laughs> I was give you stuck like on this one section? Do they give you like a pre recorded thing that you then like? Yeah, they give transcribe? you a list okay. of pre recorded mock calls that you have to dictate. I see. So it's only one way, right? Like you only have to read like one person to another. Yes. Okay, that's you, good. Oh, you you pretty yeah. You only hear you can, from what I've seen from shadowing, you can hear the muffled voice of the of the person just because of of the people who they're calling. There's this audio leak on on these types of phones. Yeah, yeah, I get that. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, they only had two. Pieces of bacon at the store. What? Is that your bad luck? <laughs> I was just trying to, no, that's just what? trying. I was just trying to be like that's the the typical stuff you you're gonna hear. Oh, oh like you have to deal with like people from, talking all weird from the action. Like... No, no, the, from as we hear from the old person's end. That's oh. not what you're transcribing. That's just like the kind of thing you're gonna have to hear. It was just Only kind of the first that popped in my head. Store. <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. Um, Canes should just do breakfast already like they should just do chicken and waffles and and get it over with you know what's really funny what cap the caption call place that i work at is literally next to canes dude no way the the one we go to <laughs> yeah yes oh no way dude i could drive <laughs> yeah. there easy yeah we can you can hang out for lunch or whatever i could pick you up after work though i don't think i'm i'm though i'm not working full time i'm not gonna be working eight hours i think what t what time do you usually work till like the morning it's normally five hours I'm for training, but my my shifts that I picked are four hours. Well, what what time did you have today? Like um, eight to it's, two. No, or I haven't. I no, I haven't gone onto my actual shifts yet. The training schedule is Monday through Friday, eight to one. I see. That's not so bad. Yeah. You gotta wake up early, but I mean, it's not that far. <laughs> you probably should censor out the name of where I work. I don't want them catching on to me. Did you say the name? I didn't catch that. <laughs> yeah, you'll. Uh, You'll know. Will I? I don't know the name. It's caption call. Oh, that's it. I mean, that, <laughs> yeah. that is probably places all over the place. That it, there's multiple locations, but also, <laughs> I just don't want to get in trouble. Uh, Considering I literally, I've narrowed down the location of it. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Right. It's, it's just that's just like saying I went to McDonald's <laughs> and it's like, yeah. now we're gonna get I doxed. Just get, <laughs> I just don't want to get in trouble. No, I, I think you'll be fine. It's not like it's not like oh, it's not like like our school that's like very specific like yeah. school is very specific like, like anything that's very it's specific true. like an airport or a school i feel like i would mm -hmm. censor but like i, I think you'd be fine no worries <laughs> and right. uh i oh what i was saying like canes like they could easily just like throw a waffle on like a three finger combo <laughs> and charge and you two dollars for it maple syrup. yeah basically yeah and like put it in a cup instead of like the coleslaw mm -hmm. they could easily do that and just be like, that'll be nine dollars, please. <laughs> yeah. I was also saying they should do like popcorn chicken, like like bites. That would be really good mm -hmm. for like parties. It's like popcorn chicken. I remember we went and you like barely finished yours. <laughs> I yeah, felt bad because like, it's I, like I just mostly just focus on the chicken. Yeah, because like I like going out to eat, but like it, it feels like I'm making you waste your money when you like don't even finish it. <laughs> like I took your toast no, that one fun. time, right? <laughs> Yeah, because I, I was like, I'm full. that's yeah. just how I am. Yeah, because I was like, I, I wanted you to try the toast with the sauce. I was like, just break mm -hmm. off a piece and like dip it in, and if you don't like it, like I'll have the rest. All right. I used yeah. to be like that. I used to not. I used to barely be able to eat like one or two slices of pizza, and now I can eat like an entire pizza by myself. That's cool. It just be like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. College is really good at helping you like build up an appetite because like after working so much, you mm -hmm. just you just get hungry. Maybe having a job will do that. Maybe one day you'll you'll clock out of work and you'll have like twenty minutes before you get picked up and you'll go to Cane's and you'll get like a meal and you'll just scarf down the whole thing and yeah. be like, wow, <laughs> like holy I'm shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna study the driver's manual in a bit. Nice, nice. And I'm going to. Uh... The only thing you're driving is driving me crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like the you hear about video games. <laughs> Damn, that shit sucks. <laughs> Just found out about depression. Damn, that shit sucks. <laughs> What's the original? Was it? Is it depression? Yeah. No, I think it was, was like. I think it was like, don't kill yourself. You're so sexy. Haha. -ha. 
figure out what the original original yeah. like no, Snapchat I think, message that that's what I'm saying. I think that was the original. Oh. I think that was oh the original. Oh my god, seriously? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, if that's if that's true, that that guy the photo's a fucking douchebag. No, no, like someone found him at a party, I think, and he quoted the the meme, but he sounded oh. like a gay guy. I, it had to oh. have been a joke. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. He did look a little older, like, if, so it could have been from a couple years ago. Because uh, that, if, that, if, he, if he actually did send that unironically, then that's kind of a <laughs> yeah. douchey thing. Yeah, I'm sure he's changed since then, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. But like, it's, he, he was definitely, like, owning it, so it must have been, like, a joke or something. Probably. At least I hope. I don't know. We, we need a behind-the-meme episode on this. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a behind the meme. This episode, no, don't kill yourself. You are so sexy, haha. <laughs> 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 I liked. Um, I used to like that channel back when he was like actually like describing like the origins of like like you remember that yeah, like no, MLG like... frog that was like the rainbow and he's like spinning his yeah. head around. That had such an interesting origin story. Apparently, it was like the pillow of like a porn star. And like they took the frog, like like they cropped the the head of the frog of the of the pillow, and they just like turned that into a meme. Just like knowing that's where it came from, like I can never see it the same again. That's crazy. I know, right? Like those were interesting, or or like when he describes like the troll face and like when when like the first occurrence of it was like that's interesting because mm -hmm. it's like it's like memes that like have been around since like before I even knew what yeah. the internet was. But him like just but, him like, like explaining yeah. like a a. Yeah. Like just saying, this meme is when you TFW no GF. <laughs> I forgot what he sounds like, so I'm just kind of doing like a bootleg chills voice. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I think I, I we have something we need to talk about. Wait, what? I I sorry, I just remembered something. Oh no, what? Fucking Ring Fit Adventure. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That looks fun. It does. I cannot believe they're making a fitness turn-based RPG. We fit in RPG. Mad lab. Basically. I kind of wish I'm I'm I I kind of wish this more so took place on Woohoo Island. Oh, that would have been fun. Yeah. I, I feel like yeah. they're kind of trying to deviate from like that brand that branding Which sucks, so to speak. Because Woohoo Island got almost nothing out of it. Hey, it's like, a stage and in it's Smash. So detailed. Yeah, but, like, the Nintendo's whole point was they were going to make multiple games surrounding it, and they never really happened. They did, like, three, didn't they? <laughs> they did Pilot Wings Resort. I don't think me, me, the me And then RPG Wii Sports did. Resort was, was the second one, Wii right? Sports Resort. <laughs> no, Wii Sports Resort came out first. Oh. It was the first. <laughs> but, like, they didn't really do much with it. Like, they didn't make many other games. They, I wanted to see, like, an adventure game. Maybe they were. Or, like... I want another Tamodachi <laughs> Life still for Switch. I think that would be fun. Yeah. Because it would work pretty well on Switch. And, and if I... Mm -hmm. I wanted to get Tamodachi Life again, because, like, I like the game, but just, like, having it on a cartridge is a bit, like... <laughs> like, I don't want to have to a swap out the... Yeah. yeah, just to, like, check my dudes or whatever. Like, it's not really a very mm -hmm. intensive game. That like I'd I'd like to dedicate myself to having, you know, because like yeah. when when you pick one cartridge, you're making a commitment. Like this is what mm -hmm. I'm going out with for the day, and like uh, that and like your downloaded games. But I'm saying like as far as like cartridge yeah. games go, you're like oh well. That's what I like so much about having a Switch case is it just holds all the games in it because they're so small. Yeah. I think I think Ring Fit Adventure makes sense to be on a cart and also. So the game looks fun, but also, did they really design the villain like that? What villain? <laughs> the villain for Ring Fit Adventure. I mean, what does he look like? I forgot already. He's a big muscular dragon in a fucking skin tight leotard. Oh, I like when you level <laughs> up. It says gains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, let me let me grab a picture of him. For I have to look something up too so for the something. Something I wanted to talk about, I wanted to look up. But yeah, here's what he, uh... Oh. Oh my god. He looks like he's from, like, one of those, like, 70s workout videos. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like you remember that Key and yeah. Peele bit with, like, the, the dancing show yeah. thing where he's like, your wife was found dead, and he's like, what? <laughs> that song is just so funny now. Like, that's all I can think of. But yeah, like, I'm not complaining. <laughs> But like, why'd they make- I can't believe oh, Nintendo yeah. approved of that. 
I don't know what it is. I don't know what Nintendo Switch cartridges are cartridges are bittered with, but um, haven't some people said like they can't taste it? That's crazy. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I, I think I know why. Cause we were learning about um genetics and like Mendelian traits in my mm. biological anthropology class, and um one of the traits we learned about that like isn't so popular anymore is PTC tasting which is like a super bitter like substance that like only really occurs in like nature but it can be like reproduced so it made me wonder like is that what the switch cartridges are flavored in like is that why some people can't taste it because like more people can more people can taste it than can't so like some people like, like it's a dominant gene so like more it's more likely that more yeah. people have it so like more people that isn't always the case but but in this case it's m more people have it than don't because mm -hmm. you have to be double recessive to in order to not taste it but um yeah uh, it's, it's just like that makes me wonder like if that's what they're flavored with because some people just can't taste it mm -hmm. and i've never licked a switch cartridge myself but when we they handed out like pieces of paper in the lab class and we we like tasted them and to like see if we could taste it or not and it it came on a little slow but i did taste it so i'm like <laughs> i i did lick a switch cartridge how was it 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 fucking it's exactly like I was expecting it to be not pleasant. <laughs> if I if I taste the switch card, should I do this live on the podcast? Should I lick the switch cartridge yeah, live? Yeah, you know on what? Yep, Fuck it. Yep. Grab your, okay. grab your Breath of the right. Wild cartridge What's and lick it. I don't think I have Breath of the Wild in. I have a uh, Smash Bros. Okay, should I lick Smash Bros? Yes. Okay. All right. Live on the podcast. You already lick the backside. Yeah. So you don't get like the yeah the yeah the sticker the, on yeah yeah. Stuff. I'm gonna have to go get some water after this. Uh, okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Oh, that tastes different, actually. That that tastes like weirdly, uh, it tastes like weirdly <laughs> sweet and bitter. You know what? You, you know what's funny? Oh. There's this there's this product that exists. I forget what it's called. <laughs> it's this thing that you suck on that like you put on your tongue, huh. and after you like you roll it around, and when it does, it kind of it reverses the taste of things. Huh. So honestly, <laughs> I'm curious. I think someone made a video where they actually did like put it in their mouth and like roll it around and then the they switch actually cartridge? tried it licking a switch cartridge yeah oh, this is see how it would taste <laughs> i've uh i've seen this like i think it's like a drop i don't think it's like a powder i, I think it's like um th this like these like drops you put on your tongue that makes like <clears throat> mm -hmm. bitter and sour things taste sweet do you know a vet 19 no they make all these like ads for like weird toys and like products and stuff like that and they give them like a marketplace essentially it, it mm. feels like something that would pick up like kickstarter projects honestly because i think i've seen a couple of them like selling a couple things that like started on kickstarter you know what i realized kickstarter is just like internet shark tank yeah like you're just <laughs> putting up your shit and seeing if it's worth people's money and they can leave mm -hmm. comments or like in support or in in disgust except you get like way more yeah. people but they're not billionaires they're just average people <laughs> like, yeah, it's just, yeah it's just some randos that's really interesting that's what that's what makes shark tank so much more interesting because it's just like billionaires yeah just I, these super mega rich people super mega <laughs> super mega matt watson it would be really interesting if they made like um like a, a documentary like tracking the progress of like a kickstarter project and then like interviewing mm -hmm. the people who backed it or like who hated <laughs> on it basically yeah it would have to be a pretty controversial one though like yeah it was something cooler, like Google, yeah or yeah something like that like like people who uh, there would have to be some people who like still like it though it would either have to be yeah. like post it, it would either have to be like a retrospective like looking back on like how it happened or mm -hmm. like uh what i'm what i'm more talking about is like a an in the progress of like a documentary like tracking the yeah. progress of the project i think that would be that'd be interesting mm-hmm Oh, but uh, what I was talking about, Vat19, uh, they, they sold these, like, drops that, like, you put on your tongue and it makes, like, like, they were eating lemons and, like, jalapenos and, like, shit like that. Just, like, mm -hmm. anything that wouldn't normally taste, like, pleasurable to the average person, it would, like, change yeah. it. And I never tried it, but I'm wondering if that would work with, like, the Switch cartridge or with, like, PTC in general. Mm -hmm. I could just imagine ingesting chemicals because you're like, oh, it tastes fruity, and you just, like, drink tons of poisonous <laughs> chemical. I mean, <laughs> like there's vaping. a there's a reason they taste bad, <laughs> and you know what? You're right, vaping or juuling. <laughs> um, uh, you know what? I you know what? Apparently, there was an update too. Um, hmm. so 
have you heard about Super Nintendo World in uh, Universal Studios? Vaguely. Wasn't there like a Mario Basically, Kart World or something? Yeah, there's going to be a Mario Kart ride. They're fa they just revealed that Phase 1, there's going to be two rides. There's going to be a um, <clears throat> there's going to be a Mario Kart ride, which is going to be that's like, it's going to be, I'm guessing it's going to be similar to something like the Radiator Springs Racers ride yeah. at Disneyland it's, California. Yeah, it's, it's probably going to be like, it's probably going to be like SNES Donut Planes. <laughs> Yeah, but apparently it's gonna be like it's gonna be a mix of like every track oh, type, every like major <laughs> upside down. Be like, <laughs> I that would be sick actually <laughs> if they could make you feel um, like you're in a go kart but go like upside yeah. down and like pretend to be underwater or something. That would be sick. And and the um the other ride is gonna be an Omni Mover ride, something like the Haunted Mansion. Or it's gonna Ooh. be about Yoshi. What's it's that? It's gonna be a you know, you know what Omni movers are. You know how the the haunted mansion they have the thing that's constantly moving uh, throughout the whole ride. Oh, kind of like like <laughs> a, little... a tour thing or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's gonna be a Yoshi a Yoshi ride like that. Oh. <laughs> and the thing is, though, I'm trying to I'm trying to find an actual picture of it, but they're building. Here's a here's um some artwork official artwork of it. There's gonna be a Donkey Kong minecart coaster. Oh yeah, I heard about <laughs> and, that. I saw that on the yeah, Super Mario Broth. And, you know, and how what's and how what's going to work is there's going to be a fake track that your that your cart's on top of and then the real track yeah, is actually yeah. connected. I, I saw the <laughs> and schematic. It's going to look like the track goes out and it looks really fucking cool. But you make and the jump, I, yeah, yeah, because the thing yeah. underneath that sounds neat, it but it sounds really kind of precarious. <laughs> <laughs> like I I want to see how that works like in in person. You know what I mean? Oh god, that the fucking. <laughs> switch kate oh, the switch taste <laughs> the fucking switch cartridge taste is like leaking to the back Kicking of my throat in. my throat already <laughs> hurts from talking but, um, <laughs> but i don't think i don't think it's gonna be dangerous because it's going to it's it's gonna be it's it's secure it's oh yeah of course like, like, like they have they have lots of testing to undergo before they can be deemed yeah, and safe they, and and they also they're gonna do a good job at um covering up the actual track mm -hmm. so it only looks like it's the fake track yeah yeah I just want to see like how it works. Like like I want to ride the yeah. ride, and then I kind of want to like see in person like how it works. <laughs> it's gonna open. I know it's opening first in Japan in 2021, of but course. they are planning on bringing Nintendo World to every Universal Studios. That'd be awesome. We should go. Let's do a vlog. <laughs> I'd be cool with that. I'd be so down. <laughs> That'd be really fun. We'd have to get like an actual camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or just both of us wear GoPros the entire time, <laughs> like a tool. <laughs> We need, to, we need to pay someone to make a make a funny edit tune. Yeah, like to, oh oh like a like an intro. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you mean. I could just use what I use for the outro and kind of like maybe repurpose it, or use like a slightly different song of that style. Mm hmm. I don't know if anyone has recognized like the outro yet. Nobody's commented on it. Nobody sent me like an ask or a Discord message about it. So I'm waiting to see if like. <coughs> People listen through to the end and then be like, oh, I like the outro. And I'll be like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for the day we get our first actual comment. Yeah. I don't think I we've... Too. I hate to bring it up on the podcast, but I, I'm just waiting for the day we get our first real comment. I'm going to frame it and, and print <clears throat> it out. and. That isn't Candy Garnet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I know my username, thanks. It, it, that just makes it seem like they're trying to log into my account. <laughs> like they oops wrong wrong box <laughs> yeah the wrong tab open sorry <laughs> i was tempted to give away my nintendo switch online code to the first person who leaves an actual comment but that would be too easy i mean it is like an hour into the podcast so you'd have to be listening for like a good while to like mm -hmm. actually to like actually get it but but uh when i got mario maker 2 i spent like 10 extra dollars on the uh nintendo switch online subscription thing which, which came with like a year subscription and i was gonna do like a giveaway on like twitter where i just say like you know follow me and retweet and i'll pick a winner in like a mm. week i meant to do it for like two months already <laughs> like since the game came out because i was like i don't really need it because yeah. apparently i didn't know this but you get like a free year of nintendo switch online with uh, twitch prime you get like the first three months <laughs> and then after that you get nine more months so you essentially get like a full year which oh, is pretty cool. cool. So I'm probably going to use that. So if you have Twitch Prime, which I'm pretty sure you do, or I anyone do. listening, if you do, uh, go claim your Nintendo Switch Online member. It, it'll just add on to the end of whatever you have, so you won't have mm -hmm. to renew for longer. Also, if you have Twitch Prime, uh, subscribe to me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash candygarnet1c. It's not like my Twitter. Yeah. My Twitter is the only one that's like that now, because uh, whoever has the Candy Garnet tag is just squatting on it. Like, they've had it since, like, 2012, and they haven't posted since then. 
So that's pretty cool. Gotta love that. It's even worse on Tumblr. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's so much worse on Tumblr. People will just never use their blog again. And then if they deactivate, sometimes someone will deactivate and then you still can't take their URL for some reason. <clears throat> the last the last tweet ever made by at Candy Garnet on Twitter Not is Jap is was made in seventh of July twenty eleven. And it's, yeah. a Jap- it's a Japanese account. It's yeah. Matsuyama was the best. I'm so excited about the three children. Thank you very much. They were so- maybe they had three children and then they had to, they had to, uh, they had to quit Twitter, yeah, because they had kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude, I, I need to. I've been taking Japanese for like a couple weeks. I want to see how much of their Twitter I can read. When I search up my my when I search up my Tumblr URL on Twitter, all of them are just shared posts from Tumblr. Yeah. Like I don't get why people do that. Like they'll just click like share to Twitter and it'll just be like literally just copy pasted the text including the URLs like from Tumblr and then just a, a short link to the post. Like why do people do this? Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Like like I don't get anything. At least nobody's calling me out. This is true. <laughs> what is this one? Like, what? This one tweet is from, like, the day after my birthday. I don't understand. Some people just do, like, artwork. I can't even get to their handle. How did you find their page? Like, I can't even... Like, you just I, type, I just typed in at Candy Garnet, and it'll tell you to... It'll just tell you you can have the option to go to the app. See, I click it, and then it just takes me to the search page. That's weird. I can oh, type wait, in d- at Candy Garnet. Yeah, I didn't type the at symbol. Yeah, nothing's popping up. That's really weird. <laughs> this is just like Twitter sleuthing the episode. <laughs> yes. One game I still gotta play is River City Girls. I got it on Switch with like uh, the gift card my roommate got me for my birthday. And um, I, I wanted to play it with him because we played, uh, I think I talked about this on the <laughs> podcast City before. Ransom, yeah, yeah, we played River City Ransom by ourselves on the Nintendo Switch Online thing. Which if you do want to play the original game, that is a good way to play it because it has like save states and all that. And um, I wanted to stream it, but I also wanted to play it with him. And he said he would be down to join me for a stream. So co-op stream maybe? Uh, I'll, I'll have yeah. to see if he still wants to do that. I also just have a lot of shit to do in general this weekend. <laughs> I have, like, a project mm-hmm. to work on, so that's going to be fun. And I also have to study for my first Japanese test on Monday, which I think I'll do Whoa. pretty good on. I, I don't think I'll have to study too much. But, yeah, I don't I don't think I'll brain fart that much because it's a much broader variety of topics. Like, mm-hmm. you know when you're doing something that's, like, pretty easy? Like, like just memorizing stuff, and you'll mm-hmm. go to, like, test yourself on it, or, like, you'll try to remember, and, like... You just can't remember like one or two and they're like the easiest yeah. ones. Like like what I did to myself is like I would spend so much energy like trying to remember the hardest letters that like the easiest ones slipped my mind. Because mm-hmm. I thought they were so easy that they weren't worth remembering. Or the like like subconsciously, you know what I mean? I wasn't consciously yeah. like, I'm gonna forget the easy ones because I hate myself and I hate getting good grades. <laughs> but um it's just like that that sort of mentality. I, I haven't quite nailed down the 100% best way to memorize stuff, but uh, yeah. flashcards have helped, certainly. Like, absolutely. That and just reading the book when necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe someday I'll be fluent enough. We're, we're starting to learn, like, conversational sentences. So, like, I could ask I could ask for, like, the time or, like, or the what is your is. job? I don't even know the word for bathroom yet. <laughs> yeah. I could ask for, like someone's age it's mostly been like school stuff like your age your major like what year are you like what's your name like like easy stuff like that yeah i'm not going to demonstrate on the podcast because i'm not trying to flex and i'm not that much of a weeb that i have to show people how good my japanese is but (laughs) i'm I'm starting to like recognize the letters which is pretty good like pretty good progress like i'm starting to be able to read the the hiragana scattered around and i'll be like oh that says like or casa or something like that or, you know what i mean or just like r- realizing how i would spell like a romanized japanese word in hiragana yeah. or something like that it's pretty interesting i think japanese is one of the more interesting languages 
Mm-hmm. We should do a la- we should do that language review we were talking about. <laughs> or I'll I'll That'd hire someone funny. to do it. I'll be like, "Can you review like French as a language?" Like like I'll get there has to be someone who knows like almost every language in the world, right? Yeah. Like there's plenty of people like that. So, I'll maybe like if I get a lot of money someday, I'll like hire him and like film him and have him like review a language <laughs> and just like produce it and upload it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> just like language review <laughs> one of the things i don't like is okay i know i said i wouldn't speak japanese but um you know there's like you say like watashi wa or like nanda uh no not that um you, whenever you see like oh something wa to like ask someone something the mm-hmm. wa they don't use the wa hiragana they use the ha hiragana which is h-a and then they pronounce it like wa and i asked my professor i was like why is it pronounced that way or like why is it used that way and she was just like oh there's no reason and i was like great it's just like english all over again (laughs) that's weird because like every word in english is like almost not consistent like you hear the word like slick and you're like oh that's ick and then you might hear it somewhere else and it's pronounced differently you know what i mean Mm -hmm. there's words like that all around in english because you just kind of like throw letters together arbitrarily to make sounds. Because like Japanese makes sense. Like you hear a sound, you know exactly what letter it's supposed to be. <clears throat> yeah. Except, I guess, in the wa instance, you're just supposed to know. Which is, I, I guess when it's used grammatically and not like in a word, it makes sense. Because when you say mm-hmm. watashi wa, like the wa is its own thing. So like I guess it makes sense. I think it's just better for splitting up like sections of words it's an easy like indicator yeah. like this is the next word now because there's not really any spaces when you write in japanese because it's all just supposed to like flow together and you know where the words end obviously because every sound is like distinct but um yeah i lost my train of thought for a sec uh oh yeah but but just like when you use that like there's a special instance for it like it's not just like oh this word is spelt that way because we said so <laughs> Yeah. Like, I, I really can't think of any instances right now where that's the case, where, like, two words are just pronounced differently. Like, shoe and do. Like, you see the O-E. Mm-hmm. So you're, like, show. And they're, like, no, that's shoe. And then there, then there's, like, S-H-O-W, which is show. And then there's how, which is ow. Yeah, okay, now I'm starting to, like, draw that. You see what I mean? Like, like I can see why yeah. English would be super confusing for someone trying to learn it. Especially from, like, Japanese mm-hmm. or just, like, any other language where they have, like syllable letters like that which i can't i can't think of too many besides like most of the asian languages that are just like complete words or letters or something like that but uh yeah Mm -hmm. that that's my that's my in progress review of japanese uh when i learn katakana and kanji which i've heard are bastards i will be sure to update on the podcast (laughs) so yeah i i guess that'll be like that'll be a segment where i just give my progress on japanese and my thoughts on on how i've learned it so far so yeah that's that's fun yeah apologies if i rambled so much but it's all good i'm sure i'm sure you find some stuff interesting Mm -hmm. (laughs) maybe just from hanging out with me if we go to japan you'll start to like recognize letters and stuff because some of some of them are pretty easy like you see them all over the place yeah like the letter no literally just looks like um like a no entry sign like the line with the circle (laughs) around it except the circle just isn't complete and it's more of like an egg than a circle it's pretty easy so what do you have to say for yourself huh punk um we mentioned uh, kickstarter a little while ago oh yeah and uh (laughs) so there's this fucking incredible saga of a like a shitty uh, indie go go slash kickstarter crowdfunded product and basically what it was is and still is because they're trying to get it out is it ongoing like so, right now <laughs> yes oh boy because i haven't um, seen a kickstarter <laughs> project in like years like i haven't heard of one in like such a long time it started out on kickstarter then they moved to indiegogo uh-huh. and they also and no wait they moved they started on kickstarter they failed they made another kickstarter with a significantly less goal and then um they went to indiegogo did they did they fail on the second one too or <laughs> no they su- they succeeded on the okay. first one because they made the, the mo- amount of money smaller okay okay basically what it is it's called the smack the smotch z the what? I, forget, I don't know how you fucking pronounce it 
It's called the Smotch, Smotch Smack Z. Oh, and I see. Like Mock <laughs> with an S. Yeah. Smock. And see. basically, it's meant to be a like a handheld Windows computer. What the fuck? It's like meant to be like a handheld Windows computer, and <laughs> it's meant to play like PC games, like oh. on Steam. That looks like one of those phone things that like Jay Witz was talking about, <laughs> yeah. where you put your but phone was... in and have like the controller yeah. grips or something. But it was the smock stands for Steam Machine because oh. back when Steam Machines originally were supposed to be the big new revolution. I see. But um, <laughs> there's a problem. There's some problems. What are those giant touch pads? <laughs> Um, it's the same pads that were on the that were meant to be for the. They were also on the Steam controller. Oh. Do they the function as like a second controller, like what Scott was talking they, about? Uh, like the the pad? second pad, they they're supposed to act like track pads. Like oh. the one above the face buttons is meant to be like the analog, the second analog stick for like camera controls. What the but the f issue about, is like the FPS Steam games? controller. <laughs> the thing is though, the Steam controller isn't that good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I own one. It's not great. I've never but tried it. <laughs> There's a small problem with the Smock Z. How how big the of a problem prototype, is it? <laughs> the 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 first prototype wasn't using their own hardware. It was literally using a disassembled Windows tablet. Oh god. And then <laughs> that reminds they went me of radio when we were silent. that reminds me of when we were talking about dev kits and I was like, "Oh, it's funny yeah. when the dev kits are shitty cuz you know, it's not the end product, but this is this is like yeah. the worst scenario where the the fucking first, like the the first release, actually is just a shitty dev kit. <laughs> yeah, like, and the thing is though, it gets worse. Um, then they went radio silent after a YouTuber named Stop Drop and Retro called them out for using a disassembled Windows tablet as oh. their main prototype, which literally doesn't get you anywhere. It's an engineering fucking dead end. What are you supposed to do <laughs> with a Windows with a, tablet? Yeah, with a, a gutted Windows tablet yeah, like and hacked together very Steam far. controller parts, <laughs> and so then they they started they started coming back and right now they're on a pre-order scheme mm. and they they had demo units at um one of the demo units literally didn't even function it oh. wasn't even turned it didn't even turn on <laughs> and literally was held together with tape. Jesus. And they had demo units recently at E3. For, they actually used the hardware they were that used hardware actual hardware. It was a custom board. There was an issue. There was another issue though. Oh, of course there was. <laughs> um, the issue was it crashed a lot, oh. and there's there's something that goes along with frame rate called frame timings. Uh -huh. And you could have you could have 30 frames per second, which is fine, <laughs> but if the frame timings are off, it feels worse. Mm. And so. It ran like dog shit. It like, ran like it games. actually isn't just like rendering it. <laughs> yeah. It, or, or like it like ran... it's rendering it, but it's just not like displaying it well enough. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> yeah. I think I get it. It ran really poorly, and it was seven. They're expecting people to buy it for seven hundred dollars. Jesus fucking Christ! And it also, that's like that that other has... console you were talking about. That one that was just like super overpriced compared to the competitors. Yeah. Like what was it? Like mm -hmm. the it was around like the Genesis and the SNES. Yeah, the three D O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but basically it's seven hundred dollars, and it's running. It's running. It's granted. It's running the PC version of games like Doom, mm. but also it's four hundred dollars more than a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, you like can I... literally just <laughs> you can just buy a Switch and, and get, get Doom, Doom Eternal, yeah. and Doom twenty sixteen, and Witcher three running on it yeah. without having to worry about crashing. That's what I like <laughs> yeah, better about consoles. Is like is like my laptop is <laughs> shitty enough as it is. If you couldn't tell from the name of the podcast. But, yeah. like, uh, I would just rather, like, have a game on a console and not have to worry about, like, specs and settings and all that shit. Because, like, also... cause they're optimized <laughs> for the system they're supposed to run on, so you don't really have to worry about it. And also, um, and also it has, like, a sh really shitty battery life. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's two to five hours. That's, like, worse than the Switch, <clears throat> potentially. Yeah. But like this, even the Switch doesn't focus that hard on like running super crisp 60 FPS graphics all the time. Mm -hmm. But like, as much of like, like I'm, I would rather play in like a handheld mode. You know, like I'm, I'm a handheld gamer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, the whole reason I didn't really play my Wii U is just because like I'd rather sit at my desk with my 3DS. So like, as much as I would like something like that, like something handheld that mm -hmm. runs as good of as like. That runs as good as a PC. I would hate having to like 
have it charge every two hours or have to like leave it on the charger the whole time <laughs> yeah because like the 3ds chargers are pretty lenient like they're really long and like they charge pretty fast and they hold a battery for like mm -hmm. like how how long does the 3ds last like the newer models <laughs> like uh, i'm not sure i want to be generous but i i honestly can't be sure i just remember playing like all day sometimes they are smaller so they're pretty easy to optimize mm-hmm while you're looking that up, I want to propose something. Wait, looking what up? Uh, I, I thought you were looking up how long the, the 3DS battery oh, yeah. life was. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got... I was I wasn't paying attention. No, that's okay. Uh... <laughs> Three and a half to six hours. I, it feels longer to me. I, I, was re I was ready to up and say like eight hours... <laughs> and the, like the, and the XL 3DS. is three and a half to seven. Oh yeah, see that's pretty good. Yeah, because I had a I had a 3DS XL for a long period of time, so that might have been it. And I also have a new a new 3DS, not the new 3DS and, XL, but the new 3DS. And the new the new 2DS XL, um, the battery duration is three to ha three to five hours for 3DS games and five to eight playing DS games. Damn. What about is, is there anything for like eShop? Is that different? Uh, I think I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask, uh, how long do you think it's going to be before Nintendo, like, officially stops supporting the 3DS? <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing, I think Extra Epic Yarn or, is, like, the last real major release for it. I think like so. Last... Yeah, one of the last ones. <laughs> along I, with, like, Bowser's I, Inside Story. I'm going to say Nintendo is going to, like, <laughs> kill actual 3DS support. <clears throat> 2021 20, or 22. I had to sneeze. I muted my mic. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to clip the audio and then have to edit it as I just muted. Yeah. Quick. I should have just said nothing. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm guessing 2021 to 2022. I, I agree is with when you. The 3DS I was gonna say. I was gonna say like packs. three years. Like by the time they, like like when they stop releasing like 3DS accessories and like stop supporting <laughs> online like mm -hmm. altogether like they're already shutting down yeah. YouTube for 3DS i think this month oh no the yeah. horror how else am i going to watch YouTube <laughs> how else are you guys going to watch this podcast <laughs> how else are you going to watch i genuinely cannot believe there's stuff like Netflix on the 3DS <laughs> yeah and the switch still doesn't have it or an internet browser <laughs> Can we talk about yeah. that, actually? The fucking Switch, they added, like, an <laughs> alarm feature, but there's no internet browser, and there's, there's no, no Netflix. Yeah, there's no folders, no themes. Like, <laughs> like I get that they want to make it, like, like a smart device. You know, they're, mm -hmm. they're really trying to be like, oh, like an iPad that you can play games yeah. on. It's like, that's neat, but nobody's going to lug around their Switch. Like, not that it's that heavy, but, like, nobody's going to use their Switch as a smart device when they just have a phone. Like, everyone has a phone nowadays. <laughs> If this yeah, came out in, like, also, the Wii days, that would be revolutionary. Yeah. Like, like if, if someone had this shit in, like, 2009, like, yeah, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. But, like, it, it's just though not... Though, for me, I definitely do see the appeal of... <laughs> the thing is, though, also, consoles are streaming boxes now. Oh, yeah. Like, it's... <laughs> like, this shit is just absolutely necessary to have on it. I can see that. So, like... <laughs> so, just, like, someone Even if gets someone's not going to... Even if someone's not going to use it in handheld mode while they're on a plane, if they're going to be watching shit they downloaded from Netflix, even still, it needs to be a function because not everyone has multiple systems and not everyone has a set-top box. For some people, the Switch is the only thing they have hooked up to their TV, <laughs> like their old dumb HD TV, <laughs> and, they're, and they want to stream from other places besides Hulu. Oh, yeah. Dude, don't get me wrong. I love Hulu. This might be a hot take, but I think Hulu's <laughs> better than Netflix. Hulu I mean, always Hulu just... has Jimmy Neutron, yeah. so like... Well, I watch, I watch Zim on Hulu, I watch fucking... I'm watching <laughs> Flapjack and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Uh, me and my roommate are watching Venture Bros. Like, they just... they just, and, and they also have, like, yeah, like, Jimmy Neutron, My Life is a Teenage Robot, Danny Phantom. Like, any cartoon <laughs> or, like, any show you might want to watch, I always check Hulu first. Because, like, Netflix doesn't mm -hmm. have shit. Like, oh, the exclusives. Like, well, Netflix was supposed to be, like, TV streaming, not... Yeah. exclusive streaming like that's what disney is trying to do now is just only exclusives and i'm i'm really curious to see how it's going to work out on one hand i know like people are probably going to pirate it but on the other hand it's disney so they're probably still going to make yeah. a shit ton of money regardless unless it's like absurdly low for their standards then they might have to either crack down on piracy or raise the prices or something mm -hmm. i really don't know how they would go about doing well, it all for 
for me, like, I'm all for, like, competition and stuff. Oh, of course. But also, <clears throat> but for stuff like streaming services and PC game retailers, it's hard for me to want to install multiple things. Yeah. <laughs> I want the convenience. Of just having of just, everything on one. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's... I feel like shit for wanting a monopoly, but also, oh, god yeah. damn it, Steam literally is just, yeah. pr it's pretty fucking good. Some, uh, yeah, that's what Epic is, like, trying to do. They're trying to, like, compete with Steam by just, like, buying as many games <laughs> as they can. <laughs> like, yeah. didn't they buy a game, like, recently that was going to be taken off the, the Steam store? I forget what it was. I don't know. I remember hearing about that. They're like, you'll still have access to it if you already bought it on Steam, but like... Uh... DuckTales Remastered. Yeah, well, that, that was one of them, I think. No, it, it was a game that was coming out, basically. Mm -hmm. um, Shenmue 3? <laughs> I don't think so. It, it, if I, I don't know if I'll remember later, but I'll, I'll look into it. Should I put Shenmue on the game so let's play? Because I've, I've always been curious about it. <laughs> Do you have a Dreamcast or whatever it was on? I mean, they have they have the HD re-releases for PS4. I guess. I do have a PS4. <laughs> and I have a PS4. Oh, okay. And also, I, I, I am planning on owning a Dreamcast. I oh, want to get it solely for Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. <laughs> oh yeah, because you said the originals are better. I mean, at least for Sonic Adventure 1, it's the less buggy version of Sonic Adventure 1. I see. And also, after looking at, there are differences in the visuals between DX and the Dreamcast versions. I kind of prefer the models and the textures from the original. I like the Dreamcast controller, how it has that, like, tiny screen on it. <laughs> yeah. I always thought that was also, pretty neat. Did you know there was a, there's a prototype version of Half-Life on the Dreamcast? That's hilarious. I love how every <laughs> Valve game is made in the Half-Life engine. <laughs> I don't get how the fuck you're gonna play Half-Life on the Dreamcast controller when there's only one analog stick. That's what I don't get with that that Smock Z is like how are you gonna move yourself and the camera both with the left side? No, you know, you use the uh, pad above the you use the pad above it to act as a pseudo an analog stick that's gonna be more precise like a mouse. I see. So it's just so is the one on the right like a, a right stick? Yeah, it's essentially a right stick that has okay. a that's more meant to be more precise, like okay. a mouse. So, that's so, the whole point of the Steam controller. So the one on the right does that move the camera like our like a second stick, or is it just also one, a trackpad? You mean the one on the left with the analog stick? No, I mean the one above the buttons. <laughs> that's meant to be the the camera control. So yeah, okay, that's good then at least. Because I was like, if both of them are just mouses, then like, what the fuck? <laughs> The one it's it's the one on the left is meant to be kind of like a pseudo D pad. I don't know. It's meant to be like users yeah, like user and game I, I specific. That. It's meant to be like reprogrammable. Oh, that's neat. I, I like that about some controllers, like that that Hori Pro controller with like the buttons on the yeah. back. My dad is always mm -hmm. like whenever I'm playing games and he sees me like holding the three DS, he's like you, you have all your fingers on the back of it. Like what why why don't they put buttons on the back? And I'm like, because 'cause that'd be stupid. <laughs> And when you put I mean, it in your backpack, the buttons would get all fucked up unless you have a cover for it. I mean, controller makers like Scuff, who make like the the controllers for like Call of Duty and stuff like that, they have <laughs> flap flaps on the back that you can remap to other buttons, so you can just keep your fingers on the analog sticks. Yeah, but it works better for like controllers as opposed to like the 3DS that <laughs> is just hand like hand flat. Hand. Yeah, and flush. And like same with the Switch. Like I could see buttons on the back of the Joy Cons, like maybe. But it, it would still kind of mess with like the overall like texture of of how the mm -hmm. back is just supposed to like slide into your bag or something like that or like yeah. fit nicely in your in your case or something like that. And um, I remember the mm -hmm. Vita did that. I had a friend who was like obsessed with the Vita because he was like the Vita should have done better than the 3DS. And I'm like, well, first of all, you need games to be a game console, so. <laughs> Hey, it has Persona 4 on it. The best version of Persona 4. They always re Atlas always re-releases the the Persona games like years later. Yeah. <laughs> to like remaster them. Do you think I they're going to the uh oh, sorry. I want to get the Vita TV. Oh boy. What is that? Like a like a box for the <laughs> Vita? No, it's the um it's You remember Scott the was video on micro consoles? Uh maybe. <laughs> Basically, it's called the PlayStation TV. It was called the Vita TV in Japan. It's essentially just a PS Vita that's a, as a set-top box. So yeah, like a like a TV box, but it's like a console. Yeah, but and I you like can put in the Vita design. cards. That's neat. And it's also region-free. Oh. Um, that does sound cool. And you, 
Yeah, it's it's also, you know, easiest way of getting footage from Vita games. <laughs> yeah, right. Is it that shitty tiny screen quality? Well, no, the thing is, though, <laughs> like, you, you, you can get, like, a USB Vita capture if you want, but mm. also, the Vita has, like, a 720p screen. Yeah, and that's good, but, <laughs> no, like... No, no, no. It's like, no, it's it's half 1080p. It's 960, or oh. it's, no. Is that how that works? Um, <laughs> it's 860 by 512, like, exactly half 1080, 1080p. No, neat. Like, his, my friend's main point against the 3DS was that, like, the graphics sucked, but I was like, dude, when you're playing, like, fun games, like, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. like the fucking PS Vita could have the best game, the fucking best <coughs> graphics on the planet, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't have any like fun games, like worth buying a Vita just for, you know, yeah. like for some people it might be worth it, but just like, as like an average person myself, like I, I only got a PS4 like a couple years ago and to play <coughs> Crash and then a, literally a year later they put Crash on Switch. So I was like, well, <laughs> and I got Persona 5 recently, actually, I've been meaning to play it. I, I wanted to stream it for so long. I just got to set it up. But um, that to me is like worth buying the console for. I, I just never heard of any big name releases on like the Vita. You know what I mean? It mostly like, is just JRPGs. Yeah, just like it was never enough to like reach me and to like pique my interest and and consider buying one. Because yeah. I was just like, I, I think I think another friend of mine has a Vita, though I'm not sure. I have one, but it doesn't work. The I think <laughs> it's actually dead. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. I need to, I'm taking it to I'm taking it to the game store and that's, see because they good. said they'll look at it. I hope so. That'd be Most good. Most likely, it's just that the battery needs to be replaced. They haven't been able to fix anything I've brought to them. <laughs> Except for, like, my Game Boy games, because they're like, oh, yeah, we'll just put a new battery in it. I was like, cool. <laughs> Which is so good. Like, like if we do that, uh, Ruby Sapphire versus, do you want to, like, take our mm -hmm. cartridges to the store to get the batteries replaced if they're yeah. dried out? Just so we could actually, mm -hmm. like, play the game and not have to worry. And, and so we could actually like grow berries mm -hmm. and stuff if we need them for like battles or is, is mirage island depending on yes. time yes <laughs> one of us could finally have mirage island happen Do, don't you just catch why not there yes but there's also berries there oh yeah the, like the starf berry <laughs> yeah the star berry is cool as shit. I love it. What does it. it even do? I remember I hacked them when, you're, when your hp when your hp is a pinch it raises a stat by a two a random, a stat, random stat or <laughs> oh damn yeah what is that even good on like anything with contrary <laughs> or not or contrary anything with, uh, no simple. anything with recycle or simple and, and sim yeah like uh not smeargle right smeargle gets moody that's what i'm thinking of yeah do you think they're ever going to introduce like another funny broken ability like that <laughs> i don't think so because i don't think they are even ever going to put it on a good pokemon like, Pokemon could, like, Game Freak could come up with the most broken ability ever and then put it on the most useless Pokemon and then spread it. I well, mean, that's kind of, I mean, it, it makes sense. I know. You know oh, like... yeah, definitely. It's just funny. And then it's yeah. like, oh, we finally got a, a, a quad weak. <clears throat> like, oh, we finally got, like, Rotom, and it has, like, Levitate, so it only has, like, one weakness. Or, or like, Bronze on. Oh, or... no, wait. Who am I Basically, thinking Basically, how you get the... Um... Tynamo. Tynamo is electric yeah. and it has levitate, so it practically has no weaknesses unless you have like some Smack specific, down. yeah, unless you have, or, or like or mold breaker, arrows. or mold breaker, unless you have some like specific setup yeah. to like get around it, then it practically has no weakness. So you're pretty mm -hmm. much invincible, which is like things like that. It's just like, you're always <laughs> waiting for these things to just line up for them to like randomly give some Pokemon yeah. some ability and then, oh, it's viable. <laughs> Also, um, basically, I've learned how you get the star berry. You get a lychee berry from the um, from Mirage Island, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, what that does is raise attack in a pinch. But you get you in Ruby and Sapphire, you get the star berry from transferring it from Colosseum because you can oh. buy it in the uh, Mount Battle. What Pokemon? <laughs> Emerald, oh, oh, just the item you transfer. Yeah, I and, see. And um, <clears throat> and in Emerald, you get it. Um, you get it from Scott after you get all seven gold frontier symbols. Oh God, <laughs> I've never <laughs> done that before. Gold you um we could do that really we could potentially do that you want to try <laughs> like, like i mean together? We could, i'm <clears throat> yeah i'm not against it we could do a if we wanted to we could we could do a full pokemon emerald let's play and then like breed a team <laughs> or the like, battle frontier or like after ruby and sapphire we could like transfer our teams <laughs> yeah and have get, like, like our best pokemon yeah, have like or, a really good or selection get, of pokemon or get the best pokemon 
and like breed them yeah and then ev train them so we can at least have like a good advantage that would be because fun. i think EV, at least ev training is necessary to yeah, do yeah. well in the battle front and, <laughs> and natures because natures are pretty easy to manipulate yeah. aren't they because the, Ever, <laughs> the everstone thing is in gen 3 right yeah i think only in emerald i think it was because, only like um, <clears throat> I, I think it was only like a 50 percent chance to pass the nature yeah. back then and then i think in x and y they just made it guaranteed <clears throat> and also um Guess how you get um the the Starfberry and Heart Gold Soul Silver? Uh, Poke Athlon. No, huh? you have to take nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine steps in the Poke Walker. What the fuck? <coughs> and that's one of the most accurate pedometers ever made. So you would just, you can't fuck with it. You have to actually take ten million steps. Hold on. <coughs> how far is ten million? Steps. I haven't even walked that much in Pokemon Go. <coughs> An average person has a stride of 2.1 to 2.5 feet. That means it takes over 2,000 steps to walk one mile, and 10,000 steps would be almost five miles. Okay, so with that logic... I'm opening the calculator. Okay, so how many... 2,000... So... You said 10 million? Nine, yeah, so, pretty so much practice, 10 million. Yeah, I'll, I'll do 10 million. So 10 million <clears throat> times, or would it be divided by 2,000 for one mile? Because it's yes. 2,000 steps a mile? Okay, so 10 million divided by 2,000. It's fucking 5,000 miles. <laughs> and I would walk 5,000 5, miles just to get the starf berry <laughs> in hard <heart> gold. <laughs> we so should make I that. Some dumb in my online Wi-Fi battles. Dude, we should we should do a vlog where we just walk 5,000 miles <laughs> to get the starf berry. <laughs> hey guys, welcome. Okay, how long does it take to walk a mile? Oh boy, yeah, are you googling it now? <laughs> Alright, it's 20 minutes for a mile. Oh so my god. So 5,000 times 20? <laughs> that would be 10... Divide the number by 60 for the hours. hours. <laughs> oh, did you that's get... A, did you... Okay. I did 20 times 5,000, that's 100,000 hours. Okay. Wouldn't that be minutes? Mm, oh wait, minutes. Yeah, because you did 20 minutes. <laughs> so div divide so that yeah, by 60. 100,000 minutes divided by 60... <laughs> is 1,666 hours. Divide that by 24 to get the days. <clears throat> and that is 69.4 repeating days. Nice. Dude, it would only take us nice. like two in a couple days. Like two <clears throat> months in a week. Yeah. <laughs> How many miles would we have to walk per day? <laughs> <clears throat> God, this, this is, is Gene. This is turned into the math podcast. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the, uh, we aren't math majors, but we're doing math anyway. Just like basic math, like, what do I divide by again? What do I divide? How do I do the thing? That would be Did the you trip watch of a lifetime. The Super Mega? Yeah. Did you watch the Super Mega um, Sonic Adventure? Uh, I haven't uh, finished it yet. I have one episode left. Uh, there was, I think, right at the start of the finale, Matt Watts they did like a someone did like a Forrest Gump joke, and Matt Watts said, "I read a comment where it was like, I stopped watching Super Mega after nine months. I clicked on the most recent video, and they're still doing this dumbass Forrest Gump joke." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that Fortnite video was so long ago. <laughs> Baby's first Fortnite. Dude, how long is Japan? I wonder if we could just walk across Japan and like get. 5,000 steps. <coughs> in miles. Just like the full ah, length of the island. That one. Slightly smaller than the state of California. 18,000 18, or 1869 miles from northeast to southwest. <coughs> so if we went back and forth of Japan two times, no, if we went across like back and forth five times you, you know what i mean if like, like if we, we would have to yeah. go there back there back and then there because that would be <coughs> two thousand miles each so we would have to do like oh, a trip and a half actually no we would My only legs. have to go we'd have to go there and back and then there and then i think it would make it 
I'm pretty sure my legs would be in the most pain they've ever mm. felt in the history of them existing. <laughs> yeah, worse than worse than grad night. Yeah. Because it's not 12 hours. It's not It's not 14 hours of walking. That is 69 days of walking. Oh, we would only have to do it three times. So we would have to go there and then back and then there again. <laughs> and then we would have the 5,000 steps and then some. It's 5,607 for three walks of Japan. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. Dude, this is going to be the vlog of a lifetime. They're going to be talking about us for years. Two dumbasses walk back, wa wander around Japan for a virtual fruit. Yeah. <laughs> like, Pokemon has some of the most, like, absurd unlock methods of, like, any game or any RPG. Yeah. Like, like, Gen 3 was mostly, like, where it happened. Like, like with the Reggies. Yeah. Owen was on some shit. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's gonna be fun, having to unlock the Reggies and the Verses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Should we do like we, we? I feel like we should do like a practice versus that we don't like upload. Record <laughs> just just so we can get the rules like situated in case like something yeah. happens. We could do like red and blue or something. Yeah, that would be a really easy like because that's a game we both know. And there's, yeah, like, we know we know Kanto. I think everybody yeah. knows Kanto like enough, the back of their yeah, hands at this yeah, point. Yeah, that's why I feel like we wouldn't do it unless we did like Fire Red Leaf Green or something. Because I don't really know the post game of Fire Red Leaf Green all that oh, well. Yeah. I guess we could do that, like the islands. Mm -hmm. I don't know if each one would be a point because there's only certain things you do. The Sevi Islands <laughs> could be a point, or it's just like if one of us is behind, they could go and do the Sevi Islands and have that yeah. side quest count as a point. <laughs> we could also count the E4 rematches. You know what we could do? Um, we could instead of ending the run at the E4 and the champion, we could end it at Mewtwo and then just have the Elite Four rematches be points. Could could catching Mewtwo be a point? Like first one to catch Mewtwo. <laughs> Yeah, it's the, that's the finale. That's the end. Oh, I see. Oh, that's, like after the refights? Uh, yeah. I see. <laughs> because I think that's what the main goal is because you need to you need to do the post game anyway. Mm. So I think it makes sense. And plus, we'd already be high enough leveled to stand a chance against Mewtwo. Yeah. Not that it's that bad, but I'm still pretty under leveled <laughs> for like the the rematches. We would have to grind quite a bit. Yeah, but the thing is though, grinding's pretty easy in in Gen three in general. Easy, yes. Fun, eh. <laughs> No, it's not great. I'm grinding for the Ruby Nuzlocke. Yeah. Uh, near the end of it wasn't oh, yeah. perfect. But Ruby it, and Sapphire suck for that. Because <laughs> there's no easy way to rematch people. They could have easily just <laughs> turned the the Pokenav into the Versus Seeker and have had like a Versus Seeker option. Because it's literally <laughs> no, remote. It would have been though, so easy. No, the, no. The thing is though, the Pokenav only really happened in Emerald. But what you can do in Ruby and I think it just also works in Emerald. You don't necessarily need to get a phone call for rematches. What you can do is you can just ride back and forth. Yeah. After you've beaten someone I, and just remember, talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah, Ruby. That's pretty much how I grinded for the Elite Four, and it was it 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 was surprisingly quick. It takes quite a long time for the trainers to get like the leveled up versions of their rematches. I feel like yes, just like but... once you beat the Elite Four, they should just all be leveled up. Because it's like, oh, yeah. you're clearly past that point where you, where mm -hmm. everyone's like weaker. Like you need stronger opponents in order to get stronger. Loser says what? Hello. Epic. <laughs> I'm not falling for that bullshit. You think I was born yesterday? I was like, I was like, why are we being so quiet for so long? Yeah, I know. I was just like, wait. <laughs> you just stopped talking, and I thought you like actually cut out for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're pretty. I, this is a pretty good podcast. Yeah, it's been good. It's been fun. <laughs> I mean, it's entertaining to me, but people watching are probably like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Like, fucking elementary yeah. school jokes? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Listen, if you, don't, if you don't laugh at this, you're not epic. You're not human. You're oh. not human, you're not epic. Oh, I thought you were going to make your own joke. Like, like... <laughs> bro, I'm just standing here. I am just... St I am just standing here. <laughs> Dude, the let's go the let's go co-op is gonna be very fun. 
It's gonna be broken. Wait, do you think we could turn that into a versus? <laughs> I don't think so. I think we could like like whoever lands like the finishing blow on the gym leader gets the point. Dude. <laughs> I think it could work. Dude, we 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 should try that. That would be so fun. That would be so funny wait, actually. Like, to... like we share a team. So we both have equal access to the same Pokemon. It's the Pokemon, yeah. And we're both just like trying to work with and against each other. Yeah. So like, like does it go down to your last Pokemon or does each person get three, like a multi battle? No, we we share okay. we share the same. So it's it's like a normal double battle where like you go to your last Pokemon, yeah. basically. So <laughs> like we could knock each other out, like if one of like if one of us chooses yeah, a Pokemon with an advantage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, or or just have like knock out all five other Pokemon so that one person like has to get yeah. the point. <laughs> but that would be counterintuitive because then like, what if the gym leader just kills you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This yeah. Could actually, be fun. I'm glad I thought of that. That would be hilarious. L instead of doing Fire Leaf Green, let's just do that for, for the <laughs> let's Kanto just do that play. In private, yeah. For for the Kanto run, that that'll be like the unique caveat yeah. of like that uh, versus. Mm -hmm. I want to have like a special rule for like each one, like. The Ruby Sapphire one will be, like, pretty vanilla as far as, like, the rules go. And then, like, yeah. I think if we do, like, Diamond and Pearl, that would be, like, the hard lockout one, maybe. <coughs> no, black and white. Okay, yeah. And then maybe for Gen 4, we could do, like, the forced trade rule where, like, you yeah. can force the other person to, like, trade you a Pokemon, like, once mm -hmm. per once per run. <laughs> and then those Pokemon are immune after that. Yeah. I think that would be fun. Or we I was thinking maybe potentially, remember that prize egg idea I had? Maybe if we did either black and white or black and white 2. We can have prize that could be eggs. Neat. I I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like it'd be more fun to just have like maybe we could do that for like if we do X and Y because like I, don't know. I, I feel oh, like I think, eggs are better. In but that. X and Y is I think X and Y's main draw is that it's such a wide Pokedex. I think it'd be cool to use Pokemon that are non-native in a game that has. Pokedex. I guess yeah, that would, that would make things more unique. Yeah, I do like that idea. So for like for for um. <coughs> So for Gen 4, we could do, like, the hard lockout, because there's enough, like, exclusive yeah. stuff. And there's enough encounters, yeah. like, per area that I think mm -hmm. both of us would get enough, like, unique yeah. uh, Pokemon. It's but also going to uh... be the race for... It's going to be the race to who gets a Starly first. <laughs> even though one of, even though I'm playing Diamond and I have access to Honchkrow, there's a chance for me fucking stealing dude, the other use, bird you from you. Use Honchkrow. <laughs> I it, love Honchkrow. Dude, it, I, I already cool. used Honchkrow when, when I played Diamond. I, I tried to recreate my childhood team. I forget if I told the story of my diamond cartridge on the podcast, but have I? I? I'm pretty sure I've told you. I don't think you did. I had this diamond cartridge that I got for my birthday when I was a kid, like when I first got my DS. I um, mm -hmm. My parents got it for me for my birthday. I opened up my diamond and pearl, and I was like sad because I was like, oh, I don't have a DS. And they were like, you still have one present left. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was a DS. So I played the shit out of diamond. And, um... I got to like the post game and like my Luxray was like my strongest team member. And then one day, like the cartridge just wouldn't work anymore. Like it wouldn't be read. Like I think I would boot up the game and then like start my file. And then it was like the data could not be read or something like that. I was like, holy shit. Like, did I play it that much that it actually just burnt out? But, um, yeah, I had to get it replaced, which was a shame. So that kind of, that kind of, uh, demotivated me from replaying it because I lost my whole team, but I did kind of recreate my whole team in my last playthrough, which I still haven't beaten because Cynthia's a bitch in those games. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? You know what's kind of a funny thing? I remember one of my favorite things is like seeing videos of parents surprising kids and yeah. stuff. Yeah, those are and wholesome. Like, um, <laughs> especially like, I remember a long time ago, I just watched Nintendo DS surprise videos. Yeah. And there's one where the, the a mom and a dad got um their their son's DS license and got one of them Pokemon Diamond and the other Pokemon Pearl. Oh, that's sweet. Really nice. And they got the they got the they got the person with diamond the blue and the person with pearl the red. Oh, that's like, nice. oh that makes sense. <laughs> Color theory. Oh, so what what if it, what if a five year old just said that? Color theory. But that's just a theory. A color theory. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.